What's going on, people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another live watch along today. London Derby, Declan Rice Derby, West Ham against Arsenal, people. Big game, must win game. Um, last week was a brilliant week for Arsenal beating Liverpool. If they don't beat West Ham today, that goes out the window. It has to be consecutive victories. Um, otherwise, you know, we're back to square one and let's hope we get there. Apologies, I'm later than usual. I had to change the time. I've just come back from Cruiser's game. He's actually just played against West Ham and uh, they beat them 4-2. He got a couple goals, so big him up. Um, but I couldn't get back until half past. I've literally just walked in through the door. So, um, yeah, I'm getting organised as I start, people. But big up to everyone locked in. Make sure you like the video. Let's get 3,000 likes subscriber only mode so it's vip business you know make sure you subscribe and get your comments in the chat people big up to everyone locked in hope you're well um i appreciate all the well wishes for cruz as well couple goals today let's hope um let's hope we score a few goals against them today as well you know and get the victory um listen let's um let's talk about the team i'm gonna be honest Last week was an amazing week, right? It was an amazing week beating Liverpool. Um, but we have made some changes to this starting lineup. And I don't quite understand why we've done it. I don't, you know, I said last week against Liverpool, let's not be neg let's not be negative. Let's concentrate on the positives and we won the game. I have no idea why this team has been changed so much. Um from Mikel Arteta. One of them has obviously been enforced on him through injury. Um, but I don't understand um, in terms of Jorginho. So just looking, I'm literally uh, looking at things as I'm live. Uh, Smith Rowe apparently rolled his ankle in training. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, even though all the journalists were saying a few days, hasn't made the squad. Oh, to be fair, he's saying... Arteta said, Jorginho has been struggling after playing 90 minutes after a long time. So we've had quite a lot of issues in the week. Well, there you go. I'm not even going to have a go at the manager then. It is what it is. Um, initially, I saw the start in 11. I said, I don't understand this team. Um, Kivior comes in at left back. Zinchenko's out injured. Tight cough. Jesus is out injured. Initially, when I saw this team, I thought... Why are you putting Havertz in midfield and playing Trossard up front when Jorginho just got man of the match? But Jorginho, you know, he is 31, 32 years of age. Doesn't start that often. That 90 minutes against Liverpool has obviously battered his uh, body. Yeah, he's 32. He turns 33 later on this year. So it is what it is. I'm going to be honest. I want to be positive, of course. We need to win. But I don't like the starting eleven fully to be honest the front three i don't mind saka trossard martinelli let's just go through the whole team david ray continues in goal no problem uh, and this could be another reason why Jorginho. we spoke about it in the week i said should he get a new contract or not a lot of you said yes i was still leaning towards the sign of maybe i would replace him and move on this concerns me a little bit now you know plays a game and then can't play a game, you know, seven days later. You would have thought after a week he would be back. Emil Smith-Rowe injured again. Okay, he's rolled his ankle. You can roll your ankle quite easily. I am now looking at Smith-Rowe. And I, uh, two months ago, I was sitting on this channel saying, no, I'm ESRFC. I don't even think we should talk about selling him. Now I'm concerned. This is a second injury hit season. For Emil Smith Rowe, and I, I, you know, I, as much as it doesn't matter how good a footballer you are, if you are injury hit for a couple of years, we've got a problem. Seems to be consistent injuries with him now. Are you fit, bruv? It doesn't seem like he is. So the back four: David Reyes in goal, Ben White at right back, Kivio c comes in at left back. That concerns me straight away. Kudus, I believe he's playing right wing for West Ham. Kudus against Kivio scares me, people. I'm going to keep it 100. Kudus against Kivio is scary hours, as Joel Santana once famously said. Scary hours for Kivio, mate. I'm telling you, I might have to put sunglasses on and hide behind the sofa to watch that. But I'm hoping Kivio can prove us wrong. Uh, Gabriel and Saliba at centre-back. No need to talk. Brick wall settings. Declan Rice Derby, a very emotional game 
for Declan Rice. I know he played a little bit of the League Cup game, but this is a start for him. And, you know, I'm sure his family and friends are there. Big game for him. My concern today is that Rice last week had Jorginho next to him, double pivot. I felt it enabled Rice to go and chase after people and do his job. When he plays as the lone six, he has to sort of sit in front of the back four a little bit and not go forward. Um, which means, you know, he has to play with a little bit more discipline because he's got two attacking midfielders in front of him. Those two attacking midfielders, Odegaard and Havertz, any time I've seen these two as the attacking pivot, if you like, I I'm not confident. I don't think they link up well. I don't think we damage teams enough with those two. We need something from Havertz. Listen, Havertz last week was a nuisance, a pest. He was like a mosquito in your hotel room that's nibbling on your legs, um, which ain't very nice, of course. That's the best I can give him in terms of compliment. Um, in midfield, I don't have that same confidence with him, but I hope he can do something. I really hope he can do something. Uh, he needs to make them runs into the area. He said in the week his nickname is uh, Donkey, um, which, listen, I think we can all agree we've seen the nickname play itself out this season. Uh, I'm joking, although I'm kind of not joking. His nickname is actually Donkey. And some would say he has played like a donkey. But anyway, at least be an annoying donkey is what we're sort of saying. Um, in midfield, I just don't think you get the same level of performance out of him. You're asking him to defend. You're asking him to do a lot of running. Um, I don't I don't really get how he's, um, how he's in there. But we don't have many options. Jorginho apparently is, is struggling after playing that first 90 last week. The front three, I do like. I do like this front three. Saka on the right, Martinelli on the left, Trossard up front in the false nine. I think he can play that role, and he's proved it. He scored goals in that role. So I haven't really got a problem with the front three. I'm looking at Kufal at right back for West Ham. I'm thinking Martinelli needs to cook him. Emerson's a very attacking fullback at left back. Saka needs to cause him problems. And I think Trossard can play that false nine role very well. Now, Rosh, as you said, I've been saying this for a long time and I, and I don't know when I'm going to stop saying this. Arsenal's bench usually looks like the bench that you get in the middle of a park where the birds pooed on it. The wood is, is, is gone a little bit soft. You know, the wood chips falling off. The homeless man's probably slept on it. It's one of them benches you don't really want to sit on. This is what our bench kind of looks like today. No disrespect, because there's some players on there that would say they feel disrespected, but I'm being real, people. That bench is not an Arsenal bench on the back of £700 million being spent. Ramsdale, who ain't going to get a kick. Eddie Nketiah, Eddie Murphy coming to America. Cedric, Cedric the Entertainer. Jorginho. Played 190 minutes, mashed up his back. Nelson, there for English quota. El Nenny, there to pick up the cones and smile. Bandera, I mean, I don't even know who he is. I thought it was Antonio Bandares, the actor. Uh, Waneri, who probably thinks, why didn't he go to Man City? Doesn't get a kick. And Walters, who's a fullback who never gets a kick. It, you know, if you're a young fullback at Arsenal and Kivior's playing fullback ahead of you, doesn't say a lot about what they think of you. So I'm being, I'm being honest. The bench is filthy, people. The bench is absolutely filthy. You're going to need to ring the council and ask them to clean that bench. There is bird poo all over that bench. It stinks. It absolutely stinks. So let me tell you this. That starting 11 needs to win the game. That starting 11 needs to win the game because that bench ain't winning us the game today. I can tell you that. Jorginho, I'm about my, my, my blood clout. Back, oh, oh, oh. Back mash up, 190 minutes against Liverpool, 10 out of 10, man of the match, new contract talk, the man's mash up after 190 minutes, you're harsh, see, Mark, you know me, information and entertainment, we shoot straight from the hip, and uh, let's be real, any Arsenal fan, or even if you're not an Arsenal fan, you look at that bench, you know, you might want to get some antibacterial wipes and some and some some air freshness, some Febreze. Uh, Waneri, listen, I like Waneri, actually. I think he's a real young talent. What I'm saying, he hasn't kicked a ball for us all season. Um, so there's the bench. There's the team. How are we feeling about that team? 
Uh, I need a, fa a fit super chat. I'm sure we'll be here at some stage. This starting 11 has to win as this bench. Simple as that. Let's go through the West Ham team. Ariola in goal. Kufal at right back. He needs to be got at. I don't rate him particularly highly. I think Martinelli can damage him. Uh, Emerson at left back. Zuma and Aguerd. 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 I'm not quite sure how you pronounce his name, but you know I'm on about. Uh, Edson, Alvarez, and Suchek, defensive midfield. Two absolute workhorses there. Um, and then they're playing Ben Johnson out wide and Kudus out wide. Ben Johnson is actually a wing back, so not a natural winger. Kudus out wide. Kudus against Kivior could be a problem. Ward Prowse is playing attacking midfield role. Need to be careful with set pieces and long shots. And then Jared Bowen up front, um, which is a new role for him that um, they're trying to get him to play. Um, I'm not going to say too much because, you know, I think he's better on the wing. But obviously, it'd be stupid of me to say anything critical before the game in case he rips us apart. But we know Jared Bowen is a top, top player. Um, on the bench, Fabianski, Cresswell, Kelvin Phillips. Phillips gone from Man City's bench to West Ham's bench. Mavropanos, former Arsenal player, Maxwell Cornet, Danny Ings, Ogbonna, Mubama and Scarles. So uh, their bench is not great. Bit of good news for Arsenal in terms of players missing for them. No Lucas Paqueta. Obviously a very good player. I'm, I'm delighted that he's not there. And no Mikel Antonio, which is good because Antonio is a very difficult target man to play against. Got a lot of physical presence and uh, they obviously don't have that same presence um, with, um, with Jared Bowen, who will cause different problems, of course. Their bench is better than ours, people saying. Mavra Panos, Calvin Phillips, Danny Ings, they got a little bit, it probably is. It's a bit dirty, but, you know, we ain't got a lot there. So, listen, no Paquetta, no Antonio, that is good news, uh, for Arsenal, but certainly concerns. Now, the question I'm asking, another question that a lot of you are probably asking, that I have no idea, um, I'm trying to find out, Oh, there, well, hopefully that's a good sign. It's saying goal. Hopefully we're going to score. I'm trying to figure out why is Tommy Asu not in the team today? Why is Tommy Asu not in the team? Apparently he returned to training on Tuesday. Came back from the Asia Cup. He played. He wasn't injured. Why is Tommy Asu not on the bench for Arsenal? In fact, forget the bench. He should be starting at left back. He should be at left back. He's not even made the bench. I mean, I've just looked at this. Yeah, celebrating too early. We've got to be careful celebrating. Curtis Jones thinks we're copying Liverpool. Uh, I will read out the Super Chats. I can see some of you put them in. I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. Look at the players that we're missing today. Look at the players. Seven players from the Arsenal squad today. Gabriel Jesus, who you would say is the first-choice striker. Zinchenko, first-choice left-back. Smith-Rowe attacking midfielder probably wouldn't start. Tommy Asu... You would say in a game against a better attacker would probably have started today. Fabio Vieira, squad depth. Thomas Partey would probably start. In fact, Timber would probably start as well. So you're looking there, in my opinion, at four players from the starting eleven. Imagine if that was our bench today. Not that you'd want these guys to be on the bench, but that's the kind of squad depth that we should have. But... You know, Gabriel Jesus, injury prone. Thomas Partey, injury prone. Timber does his ACL first game of the season. Smith Rowe, I'm starting to get worried. The, you know, I can't keep renewing the membership as ESRFC. That might end up becoming a painful ending, you know, if this injury situation continues. Fabio Vieira, I'm going to be honest. Said it before and I've said it again. It might sound incredibly harsh and a bit contradictory with what I've said about Smith-Rowe, I would get rid of Fabio Vieira in the summer. Two seasons at the club, haven't seen enough from him. think he's got some technical ability, of course. I don't think he suits the Prem, and I don't think he's going to make it at Arsenal. I know that sounds harsh. I would get rid of Fabio Vieira. Um, I would get rid of Thomas Partey, unless you're going to let him run down his contract. Uh, as a squad player, I wouldn't have no problem. I think Arsenal will cash in. Uh, Zinchenko, he needs to be on the bench, in my opinion. Um, and I think we need a first-choice left-back. That first-choice left-back could be Timber, or we, we might bring someone in. Tommy Asu, no problem. Uh, Jesus, a concern for me. Jesus would be the backup striker for me next season behind 
Probably Ivan Tony, who, by the way, Ivan Tony scored again yesterday. Three goals in four games since coming back um, from the betting scandal. Just to put that into context, Gabriel Jesus this season has four goals in 17 games. Ivan Tony has three goals in four games. You know, this this is these are levels we've got to be at, people. You can't let man score four goals in half a season. And, you know, and we're saying that's good enough to start through the middle. It's just not. So we're missing seven players, some of them key players. So we'll have to see. We definitely got to strengthen the bench. We've got to get rid of some of these players who are, you know, injured too much of the time. We can't rely on them. We just can't rely on them. And I'll be honest, Man City yesterday, man, you know, you're watching the game. I've given up on watching Man City games, by the way. I watch them all the time. And I do the same thing every time I watch them. I turn up and I go, yeah, City will win this. Then they sh then they start to struggle. And then I start telling myself they're going to drop points. And then I start getting excited thinking, oh, Everton are going to win or they're going to get a draw. They're going to do this. And then Haaland says, no, they're not. And then Haaland says, no, they're not again. And Kevin De Bruyne says, I'm back. They were never going to win this game. Then you sit there disappointed and you say, why did I allow myself to believe that Man City were going to drop points, allow myself to get excited, then realise they're just playing around? You know, they're playing around with Everton's feet. Oh, you think you're in it, do you? Bang! They're just playing around. It's like when Mayweather was just dancing around the ring. Oh, you think you're going to win this fight, do you? And then it's the check hook on Ricky Hatton. Ricky Hatton's rolling around the floor. Why do I allow myself to think Man City are going to lose? And then I looked at Man, City in his, Man City's form and I'm like, oh, they've won 10 games in a row in all competitions. So why do I actually think that they're going to drop points? You know, Haaland's back bodying people to the floor looking like Ivan Drago. So listen... We're under a lot of pressure today. Liverpool won yesterday. City won. I'll be honest. I've said it before, and I don't want to hope and belief. I say it all the time. Hope. Hope tells me, Arsenal, I'm going to hang on to that hope. Can we win the league? I feel like Man City are going to win their title. That It's just unfortunate. I find it difficult to feel anything other than they're going to win the title. But hope. we got to keep hopeful. If we don't win today, we're out of the title race. And I know some people will think that's reactionary. You can't beat Liverpool, then go and drop points at West Ham. You've got to roll West Ham over. If you look at the um, the form guide here, people, West Ham have not won in their last five games in all competition. That includes a draw and then a defeat in the FA Cup replay against Bristol City, people. Five games they haven't won. They lost to Man United, drew to Bournemouth at home, drew to Sheffield United, who lose to pretty much everyone, although they won yesterday, and then they lost to Bristol City. This is an out-of-form West Ham team. We've got to beat them. We've won our last three games. Um, let me read these Super Chats. They're mounting up a little bit. Aiden said, ESR injured again. Said it before, I'm a big fan of ESR. I hope that he makes it at Arsenal. I'm starting to get concerned. This is a second season of struggle, of injuries, of lack of form, inability to get into the team. I'm concerned for him. I am concerned for ESR. Are you fit, bruv? It's not looking good, but hey, there's still time. Big up Brian, Brooklyn in the building. Big up your damn self. Big up Curtis and Cruz. Breakfast with my lady and hospital ward settings for our team. Hope everything's good, bro. Uh, must get three points. 2-0 Gunners. Come on, you Gunners. Any win is a good win today. Let's just say that. Any win will be a good win. We owe West Ham a defeat. Trust me, they, they've, they've caused us a lot of pain. Last season, I believe the title race started disappearing after that West Ham game. They knocked us out of the Carabao Cup and they beat us at home earlier in the season when we had like 25. We owe them a good victory. Dud Pistachio, big up, bro. Bless up, Curtis Cruz and the community. I'm going to email you back today. I'm going to get back to you today, bro. Big up yourself. Uh, D Max said, sick note FC again. Sell all these 40% a season, man. I agree. I'm not interested in none of them. We've learned people. I loved Kozola. I love Rosicki. I loved Abu Diaby. I love Jack Wilshot. You hang on to them. Oh, don't let them go next season. He might stay fit and we'll get the best out of him. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. 
If ESR is injured until the end of the season and doesn't get no form, reluctantly, you might have to just surrender and say, let him go. West Ham are interested. Newcastle, let him go. Yeah, Thomas Part, a great player. Always rated him at this club. Get rid of him. Get them wages off the wage bill. Gabriel Jesus, I don't think they'll sell him this summer because I think the aim is to bring in a striker, get rid of Eddie, make Jesus the number two or make him rotation for the wingers. But the following season, if he's still getting injured, get rid of him as well. These players hold you back. They hold you back. Look at Man City players. I know they've had a few injuries this year, but how often does Haaland get injured? You know, not very often. Nearly every week you watch Manchester City, Rodri's on the pitch. Bernardo's on the pitch. These guys are fit the majority of the time. That's why they win trophies. You know, they're reliable. David, big up yourself, bro. He says, big up Cruz. More goals against West Ham than Jesus. Uh, I think I think most of us would. Uh, nah, no disrespect to Gabby Jesus, but big up, bro, for the comment. You've been a member for nine months. Cody Mystified, big up, bro. I haven't seen Rice stepping up to play out of his skin against West Ham. I need to see Rice cook today as a statement. You're one of us. Now, I hear you. I hear you, man. I, I think um, having a good performance against your old team is very important. Just to let them know. Because they booed him the last game. I'm not saying he should turn on them or anything, but that should motivate you a little bit. I remember when Wayne Rooney went back to Goodison Park and he said, listen, I'm an Everton fan, once a blue, always a blue. He said they gave him that much abuse. When he scored, he kissed the Man United badge. I'm not saying I expect Declan Rice to kiss the Arsenal badge, but I want him to get fired up for today, and, and he's got a point to prove, I'm sure. Big up Cody, mystified. Cooper said, Big C, after scoring, what was your favourite goal celebration? What was the best goal celebration, man? I think the Omri knee slide was goated. Um, uh, what, what celebrations? Back in the day, I feel like celebrations were a lot more simple. I used to like Aspria's celebration. He used to do the cartwheel, then the free punches. But it was basic, man. The celebrations weren't that good back in the day, was there really? Shearer used to stick his arm up. I never really liked that. That was boring. He had the shirt tucked in and everything. Yeah, the celebrations back in the, I think the Henri knee slide, man, is the is the ultimate one. But you got to play on a proper pitch to do that. You play on some bubbly pitch, you mash up your knees doing that. Um, Gunnarola said, I call them false hope FC. Yeah, they are. You think they're going to play and be great and then nothing. Ronaldo, see, I think that is a goated celebration, isn't it? You go around the world, anybody who knows football, you do that celebration. They know what it is. It's probably the most famous celebration in the world. Yeah, Jamrock, R9, just wagging the finger. Or he used to do the arms out flying, didn't he? Um, I liked Harshavin sh shushing people as well. Uh, Carlos Silva, today can't be 2-1 or 1-0. This monkey on our back of West Ham needs to be disposed. A simple 1 or 2-1 makes me worried. Uh, um, listen, if you offer me a 2-1 win now... I probably wouldn't take it just because it's pre-match and I'm excited and I think we can batter them. But at the end of the game, if we win 2-1, I'll take it. This is about ticking off results now. Man City weren't great yesterday against Everton, but they got the job done. Make no mistake about it. This is a difficult game. This is a tough game. I know we're, I, I'm with you in the fact that we owe West Ham a, a beatdown and I'm, I'm here today for a 4-0. But if we beat them 2-1, it's still a good result. West Ham... Are eighth in the league. If West Ham win, they go up to sixth in the league. They go above Newcastle and they go above Man United, although United have got a game in hand later on. They're no mugs. West Ham are no mugs. This won't be an easy game. Despite the form, we know what kind of game this is going to be for Moyes and West Ham. Johnny said, we need to win today. Shout out to the Kenyan Arsenal fans. My Wemby is a must. Hey, big up, big up. Big up all the gunners around the world, man. Big up everyone tuned in. See unit business. Curtis Shaw community. I appreciate all of you tuned in. 3,250 of you locked in. Amazing support. Obviously, I, I started the show half an hour later than usual today. Big up the Twitch gang as well. Everyone locked in. Really appreciate it. 53 of you on Twitch as well. Um, I suppose the beauty of starting the show a bit later is a kickoff comes around very quickly. The players are walking onto the pitch. The West Ham bubbles are um, in the air. Must be a funny feeling for Declan Rice walking out in the um, in the away end. We're playing in the uh, 
the the yellow shirt, which I don't like at all. Henry, I will be watching Awesome End tonight. AFCON. Don't worry, I will be tuned in for that. Let's see what he does. Big game, you know, he can lead his country to, to victory, man. Um, which would be, you know, massive for him. Uh, Zamir said, big up, brother. Do you think we're going to win this game with Havertz in the middle? I'll be honest, I would have rather he wasn't playing in midfield, but if Jorginho isn't fit, you're short of options. Look at the midfield, what are you going to do, El Nenny? No, they, so we're kind of forced. I'm disappointed that Jorginho in seven days hasn't recovered from playing 90 minutes. 32 years of age, nearly 33, his back's mash-up. Uh, Golden Boy TV, why is Jorginho on the bench? That's arrogance. No, nah, listen, I, I, I thought the same thing. But uh, he said pre-match that uh, Jorginho has been struggling throughout the week. So that Liverpool game took the energy out of him, man. Uh, am I watching the Super Bowl tonight? If I'm awake, I'll be watching it. I'm more likely to... You know when the Super Bowl's on, I kind of have it on and don't watch the whole thing because it's just on for so long. Uh, it's on for like three or four hours. I'll be watching NBA tonight, probably, and AFCON. Jonathan, thank you for the super sticker, bro. Really appreciate that. Big up to everyone locked in. Smash that like. Over 3,250 of you in the chat. We are about to kick off in two minutes. Give me your score predictions. I said 3-1. I'm going to stick with it. Marcus is going for 4-2 to Arsenal. Um, I believe we're going to win. I believe we're going to win. I do. Uh, Usher at half time. Yeah, exactly. That, that'll probably be the most entertaining bit. Omar's going 2 1 to Arsenal. Big up Cello in the chat. Kahan's going for 3 2. Uh, Adrian says 4 1. Uh, 3 2 says Kevy. Penalty spot 4 1. 2 all says uh, Zeno. Yeah, uh, Heat against Celtic, 7 o'clock. I will be watching that. I will be watching that. Um, just before the AFCON final. Uh, Jamar says 2 all, unfortunately. Ashley's going 2 1 West Ham. Glenoy says uh, 2 0. Jamrock's going 3 2. Ben says 2-0. Uh, when you don't put the team at the end of it, I'm assuming you just mean 2-0 to Arsenal. 3-1 uh, says Daniel. Uh, Cissé says 3-0 to the Gunners. 7-1. Giraffe King says 4-1. Cormac's going 2-1. Woolwich Gunner says 3-0. Um, Latte says 3-0. Hybrid Vaja 3 all man. We don't want that. Zhao Havertz playing midfield, not centre-forward. 3-0 uh, says Gunner edits. John's going for 1-0 to the Gunners. And uh, big up Greeny, man. And uh, Raphael says 5-2. It'd be entertaining. And uh, we got uh, Gunner G says 2-0 to the Arsenal. I'm going for 3-1 Arsenal. Face going for a Declan Rice bang. I would love that. They're in the huddle. The huddle merchants are at it. We're about to kick off, people. Going to be a massive game. A big game. A must-win game. Uh, let's get the tweet out. I'm going for 3-1 to the Gunners. Big game, this. Declan Rice, it feels like it, you know, is the first time he's playing against them. I feel like the Carabao Cup game didn't really count for him. Uh, TGG said, we're winning 2-0. Uh, I hate this park bench, though. Yeah, that park bench, man, it needs some back antibacterial wipes. Nico's going 3-1 as well. Super Fat Frank said Declan Rice brace. Right, we're about to kick off. I will be commentating as much as I can throughout the game, so bear with me. And we are underway, people. The Declan Rice derby is underway. West Ham against Arsenal. Gunnar Rola said we owe West Ham a beatdown with how close the race is. Need to start thinking about goal difference. A good point. Very good point. Looking at the goal difference... Arsenal are six goals behind Man City and seven goals behind Liverpool. Um, so, yeah, bear in mind we've got Sheffield United in a few weeks at their place. Here's Declan Rice on the ball for the Gunners in his own half. Let me know, people, just because I've got the volume turned low. Is he being booed by the West Ham fans? I'm just intrigued to know. He's on the ball now. Mm, I can't hear him booing him. I turned it up a bit, but let me know if he's being booed. Big up everyone locked in. Uh, Arsenal all over said, has anyone got a link? Anyone got a link? Uh, let him know in the comments. The game is on Sky Sports in England. 
Uh, I'm not sure about other places. Apparently, he's getting booed. Boos are ringing out. Wow. Crazy. I hope he scores. Do a knee slide in front of him. He don't deserve to be booed by West Ham, man. Come on. Sometimes you got to understand there's a food chain, man. You're not at the top of it, you know. He got 100 million for a guy out of the youth team. But, hey, here's Saka. Come on. Let's do this. We need three points today. Don't undo all the great work that we did last week against Liverpool. Kivio gets caught. Kudus nicks it off him. Here come West Ham. Kudus in the area. Up against Kivio. Kufau's going to whip it in. Headed away by Declan Rice. Good clearance. There's your first warning sign. Jakob Kivior, poor play. Takes too long. Here come Arsenal. First attack of the game. Havertz gets the ball out wide to Saka. He's 1v1 with Emerson. Ben Johnson gets back. Here's Odegaard, 30 yards out. On his left foot. Drives. Tries to play a 1-2 with Trossard. And the ball breaks down. Why do we refuse to shoot, especially early on in the game? One of my coaches, he always used to say to me, shoot early in a game. You know, shoot early. Um, Kivior v Kudus is a worry. It's Saka given away needlessly. Jared Bowen, oh, he's offside. He was one-on-one -on -one there, but he is off. He missed the one-on-one -on -one anyway. The Kiwi is rotten. I've been waiting how long for this Kiwi to be ripe. And now, I think the Kiwi is uh, it's mouldy now by the look of it. Wow. I tell you what is noticeable there. Arsenal are defending on the halfway line, which I don't understand. Because Jared Bowen does have a bit of pace. Yeah, uh, I mean, big. Uh, he's saying, where's Tommy Asu? I don't understand. Apparently, he got back on Tuesday. Why is he not on the bench? I don't know. Your mic doesn't really pick anything up. Yeah, one day. I've got a decent mic, so I'm wondering. I'm going to turn it up a bit louder. I'm just hoping they don't uh, They do not do me for copyright. I turned it up a little bit. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up. Jet lagged. Come on, he came back on Tuesday. Surely he should at least be on the bench. Dash where the Kiwi, man, I'm telling you. He's got to prove himself today. He, he literally there, had a touch of the ball, lifted his head up, Kudus nicks the ball off him. And then outpaces him. You haven't got that kind of time, bro. This ain't um, this ain't Syria. Uh, Tierney's in Spain, mate. Real Sociedad business. Arsenal in possession in their own half. William Saliba. Um, in possession. Here's Ben White high up the pitch. Havertz in good space there. Try and play a ball. Saka move for him. Plays it down the line. Saka. Crossed in with his right foot. He's offside. It was poor there. Poor, poor, poor. Saka's offside. Should have it to play the ball quicker. Jamrock said 4-2-4 in attack. Kaya's second striker. Well, let's hope he's a goal threat. That's a good point. Endo and Matoma played. And Tommy Asu didn't play. They came back together. And I never heard nothing about... Um, I never heard nothing about him being injured. Condenser mics only pick up your incoming voice, not surrounding noise. Ah, oh, well, I've turned it up a little bit. Hopefully, you can't hear the TV in the background because I have turned it up uh, a bit, a bit loud. Uh, I was uh, RSPB. I was highlighting how stupid it was. We loaned out Tierney, yet yeah, crazy. Uh, Snake Eye said, "Big up, Big C. I've seen the game already. We won three-one. Relax. Well, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I said three-one." Um. Cormac said, is Kivio being hung out to dry by Arteta? Well, we, we have to question why, you know, a centre-back's playing out of position. He, he's not a left-back. Um, so, yeah, it, listen, he hasn't come to this country to play left-back, has he? They are booing Rice so hard. The good thing is the Arsenal fans in the stadium are loud as well. There you go. Let's win the game. That's, that's the only thing he needs to answer. Jeremy Fringpong yesterday, I think he scored again as Leverkusen beat Bayern. Um, great chance for them to win the league now over there in Germany, man. Massive win for them. Um, here's Trossard dropping in deep. Arsenal dominating possession. Haven't really managed to create anything yet, but good start to the game. Make West Ham chase the ball. Here's um, Trossard in a right wing position there. 
find Saka. I think you'll see a lot of rotation from this Arsenal attack. Odegaard crosses it in. It's a poor cross cleared away by Zuma. Saka with the header trying to find Trossard and cleared away as, as well. What game was that? Yeah, Leverkusen against Bayern Munich. 2-0 to Bayer Leverkusen. Top of the league now. We need to sell ESR, says Dwayne. So injury prone. It's becoming a concern. Kieran said Bossard will score today. And uh, Snake Eye said Kane took the Spurs curse to Germany. I mean, Bayern win the league nearly every season. Kane goes there and they're not going to win the league. It's wild. Oh, was it 3-0? Raw. I thought it was 2-0. I turned it off at 2-0. 3-0, they got a beat down. Big up my bro, Akeem is Martinelli up top. I think, I think they're just rotating. They listed it as Martinelli on the left, Trossard up front, and Saka on the right. I think you'll see a lot of rotation. Poor pass there again. And it's a throw in to... Um... Arteta does well there. He told the ref where to give it. Arsenal's throw. Uh, no trophies for Kane. you got to laugh, aren't you? It's funny. I've gone to Bayern Munich to win trophies... To get out of Tottenham, the brother would probably end up trophyless. It's crazy. Here's Saka, right-hand side. Up against Emerson. Drifts inside well there. Needs to move the ball. Does well. Come on, when are we going to test this goalkeeper out? Declan Rice finds Odegaard on the right. Adrian saying we should sell Kivio. Good ball. Here's Martinelli in the area up against Kufal. Whips it in. Oh, Trossard. Corner to Arsenal. Come on! Corner to the Gunners. First half little attack there, getting into the area. I thought he was going to try and bend that in the far corner. He crosses it, it's blocked, and it's a corner. I think, uh, yeah, Rice is going to take this corner as well, in swinger. Uh, I'm sure he's getting a nice reception from the West Ham fans. I'd love him to get an assist. I'm going to check out the third goal. I didn't see it, and Andy said, uh, vintage Manuel Neuer madness. In swinging corner, Declan Rice, it's high. Back post, it's headed across. Ariola collects it. Ball was up in the air there. You can take the, the Kane out of Spurs, but you can't take the Spurs out of Kane, exactly. Free kick to Arsenal there. Alvarez nails Saka. Oh, he gets a yellow card now. The Arsenal players there. Some of the Arsenal players, I think, are asking for a red there. Gabriel and Alvarez having a little argument there. Emerson comes over. Let's have a look at this. Should that have been a red? Saka's not happy with Alvarez. Ariola throws it out. Nah, 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 come on. If he caught him with his studs there, I think he's ju it's just about... Give him a blue card. We want a Simbin. It, I don't think it's quite a red. It probably That probably could be the blue card. Worse than a yellow, not as bad as a red. The only reason... You're not talking about a red there because his studs are showing and off the ground. It's because Saka's leg's off the floor. If Saka's leg was planted there, that's a leg-breaking challenge. It's a terrible tackle. But he's lucky Saka lifted his leg up so the contact doesn't cause much damage. But he's on a yellow card. Free kick to Arsenal. Here's Saka again. Trossard is available. Declan Rice whips it in back post. Havertz jumps up with a header. Loops in the air and Areola collects it. We still haven't tested Ariola properly yet. That's the frustrating thing. Um, still early in the game. Nine minutes gone. West Ham nil, Arsenal nil. The one good thing I will say, and I hope I don't... Um... Oh, well done, Saliba. Bullies, Jared Bowen. Here's Trossard. Saka's out wide. Edge of the penalty area. Odegaard's there. Can we test the goalkeeper, Ariola? Good little one-two. Ben White, Odegaard, somebody shoot, please. Here's Declan Rice, 25 yards out. Odegaard, there's no space. He's trying to thread that ball through the iron. Here. Saka, have a pop. Saka does have a pop, deflected. It's a corner. Are they asking for handball for a penalty? I think it might have hit him on the chest. Finally, somebody decides to shoot from the edge of the area. Saka, just shift it out of your feet and pull the trigger. Nah, you ain't going to get a penalty for that. His arm's right next to him. I think it might have clipped his arm. I think it does hit his arm, but his arm's right next to him, so you ain't going to get a, a, a penalty for that. But 
It is a corner to Arsenal. Alvarez is booked. Arsenal take it short. Here's Odegaard. Whips it into the back post. Can we make something of this? Headed away for a corner. We're, we're putting them under good pressure here. We just need to test the keeper. 3v2 on the corner. Martinelli gets it off Rice. Lays it off to Odegaard. Edge of the box. Cross to the back post. Cleared for another corner. Come on. Are we going to test out Ariola? A lot of good pressure here, but no real decent shot on goal yet. We've started the game well, though. Are we going to whip it in this time? We've got a 2v1, so it wouldn't surprise me. Saka plays it short to Odegaard. Lays it back off to Saka, edge of the box. Whips into the back post. It's a horrendous cross. All of that work. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And Saka overhits the cross and puts it out for a goal kick. It's so frustrating. Those little details are what are frustrating with Saka sometimes. Um, Lucas said, Harry Kane is going to move to Celtic at the age of 37 to try and win something, and Hibs will win the league. Wouldn't surprise me with Kane. Big up on the super chat, bro. Arsenal have started the game well. We just haven't tested the goalkeeper yet. Here's um, Suchek forced all the way back to... Ariola, West Ham have not started the game very well, but it's nil-nil. We haven't challenged the keeper. Edson Alvarez is on a yellow card for West Ham. Early in the game, we need to play on that. Ball over the top. Gabriel up against uh, Jared Bowen. Gabriel clears it there. West Ham have got a lot of physicality in the middle of the pitch, obviously, with uh, Edson Alvarez and Suchek. This is reminding me of the home fixture, South London's finest. Well, let's hope it doesn't finish the same way. Uh, are, are you dead yet, bro? Vinicius and Bellingham yesterday. The skills that Vinny was doing. Nah, madness. And Bellingham, crazy. Madrid were cooking yesterday against Girona. He scared the pigeons with that cross sack. It wasn't good. Throwing to West Ham in the Arsenal half. Kufal to take it. There's a... Um, there's a, there's a feeling that we can beat them here, but we've got to take our chances. We've got to create chances. Everyone's on the barbecue in America, Super Bowl Sunday. Listen, it's a big sporting day. AFCON final, Arsenal playing. You know, a lot of big games, man. Super Bowl, Man U Villa. Uh, Arsenal's bench looks like a League One side. You're not wrong, bro. I'm telling you, you're not wrong. There's a few poor ones there. Joe Bellingham should be a realistic summer target. Is he that good, though? Is he that good? I know it's Bellingham's bro. He scored a belt yesterday for Sunderland. I don't actually know how good he is. This play suits Moyes. Yeah, because they'll try and hit us on the break and set pieces. 3,000 of you in the chat. 3,300 of you in the chat now, which is amazing. Big up for all the support. Big up the 62 of you on Twitch as well. Whole C unit business. Let's go. Let's get three points. We need to. Keeping the ball well. Haven't tested out the goalkeeper yet. That's the only frustrating thing. Here's uh, David Raya on the ball for Arsenal. We're keeping the ball well, dominating possession, but we need a goal if we can. Make sure you smash the likes. Let's get 3,000 likes. Wow, risky ball. Odegaard stitches Declan Rice there. Tried to play a ball around the corner. He had two players on him. He gets caught. Dominating possession is, is fine, but you've got to punish them. You've got to put them under pressure. I'm not interested in Arsenal just dominating the ball and playing at a slow tempo. You need to actually hurt West Ham. They haven't won in their last five games. West Ham have the ball back. They're not going to be overly confident themselves. They haven't won in, in a month. I think it's a month since West Ham last won a game. But the longer it's nil-nil, the more it will suit them because a set piece, they're capable. They've got Ward Prowse. They've got big defenders like Zuma, good in the air. How much damage would Bayern have done if they... How much damage would Bayern... Oh, uh, Leverkusen. Well, I suppose, first of all, try and win their league. And then I think them and Liverpool are the two favourites to win the Europa League. So they'll, uh, they'll be a threat in the Champions League next year. It's just if Alonso goes, what damage will that have on their team? Will they lose players? I think Fringpong's got a 35 mil release clause. And so on and so forth. Here's Ben Johnson for West Ham. Left-hand side. 
Got bodies in the box. Kivio, oh, Jesus, clears it out for a corner. Kivio, I mean, he's done all right there. He just does not give me confidence in his defending. Saliba there gets drawn out to the ball, chasing after Jared Bowen. Kivio's done all right in the end, but you would like to think he could he not clear that out for a throw in rather than a corner? I don't know. Maybe I'm being harsh. He's stretching a little bit. Corner to West Ham. This is where it gets dangerous. Ward Prowse on set pieces. Zuma in the air, you know. Um, Kivio looks as, looks as slow as Mertesacker. He's meant to be quick. Saliba marking Zuma. Ward Prowse whips it in. Headed away by Arsenal. Comes out to the edge of the area. Forcing back. Nick it, Martinelli. That's our ball. Throw into Arsenal. Edge of the box. Well done. Andrew said Kivio is not Premier League standard. I'm just not sure about him, man. Like I said, he, it doesn't help him that he's playing at left back. Wow, Odegaard there. Little pull on the shirt of Suchek. you got to be careful. With VAR in slow motion, sometimes you get a, a penalty for that. The, the thing I noticed there about Odegaard, he's not even looking. Um, he's not even looking at the ball. He's just looking at the player and just pulls his shirt. You can get a penalty for that because the, on VAR, the ref will say, you're not even looking at the ball. You're just fouling him. So, yeah, frustrating. But we've got possession back. There's Declan Rice anyway. We started a bit slow. Uh, please ask if anyone has a streaming site. My laptop has done me in. Anyone got any uh, sites? Put them in the chat. Here come West Ham. Jared Bowen. Bowen shoots from long range. David Rare collects it. Good block there by Gabriel. Big up Dean who said, big up you, the beautiful uh, people. Big C. Hope the family as well. Come on, the mighty Arsenal. Big up yourself, Dean. Appreciate that. Uh, Granite Xhaka is cooking in the Bundesliga. Top of the league. Would be interesting, wouldn't it, if Xhaka goes and wins the title? Listen, one thing we've learned about Arsenal Football Club over the years is we don't make anything simple, right? We are going to make things complicated. So did I expect Arsenal to come here today and just roll West Ham over and beat them? No, because it's Arsenal. We won't. We'll make it nerve-wracking. We're, you know, you, you know what to expect. Sophisticated charm. Big C, your thoughts on Robinson, the left back at Fulham as a long-term solution. I think he's a decent young left back. If I'm being honest, I don't think he's Arsenal level, in my opinion. I could be doing him a disservice. Um, great run by Saka. Has a shot. Doesn't get no power. Straight to the keeper. I think Tierney is probably a better left back than him, and he's on loan. I know he's obviously injury prone, but I'm not sure if Robinson is uh, the long term answer. I think he's a mid table left back. Um, maybe he gets to a better level, but would you take Xhaka back for Havertz? Listen, he, what I've seen of Havertz so far, Xhaka last season certainly was way better than that. We're the only person that could walk into a phone shop. And come out with a worse phone than before we walked in. You know, you get them phone calls and emails. Hi guys, the new Samsung 24 Ultra is out. And the new iPhone 15's out. We've walked in the shop and come out with a worse phone than when we walked in. Make it make sense. Like, we, we've we've walked out with a, with a BlackBerry phone. We've gone back to BBM Messenger. Even though they were great days, by the way. I loved it on BBM, by the way. They were the good old days. Yo, what's your pin, man, BBM? We've gone, we've come out the phone shop with a worse phone. And we're still and we paid more for the contract. It's only only Arsenal, right? Only Arsenal. We've come out with a pager. Here come West Ham. Johnson whips it in. Now all of a sudden, I'm looking at this game and I'm thinking, we haven't started the game that well. We're allowing West Ham to grow into it. Ben Johnson's playing left wing. I'm pretty sure he's a wing back. I think he actually played right back at one stage. Ball whipped in, which they're going to do. West Ham will put crosses in. 
We seem to be struggling to attack. When we get the ball, we're finding it difficult. Saka does well there. Great strength. Wins the ball off Emerson on the halfway line. Now, I'll never be BBM messenger, man. They were goated times, man. Here's Odegaard. 30 yards out. Not even thinking about shooting. Trossard. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot! Loses the ball trying to play a through ball. Good defending by Saliba against Jared Bowen. I honestly thought Trossard was going to shoot there. 25 yards out. On the half turn. Pull the trigger. Arsenal dominate in possession. We just don't want to pull the trigger. BBM were the good old days, man. You message someone, they didn't answer. You start pinging their phone, make it shake a little bit. I don't know why they ever stopped. I think they sold the... Um, I think they sold it. Ball whipped in. Trossard header. Oh, over the crossbar. What a chance. And he's swearing there. You can lip read him. Best chance of the game. Saka cuts inside. Great ball. Sitter. Got to score that. It's hit the grey here on top of his head. Oh, he's got a score. What a ball in from Saka. Great ball in. Has to hit the back of the net. Great. That's why you got to sign Ivan Tony. He scores that. Has to score. Ah, that's frustrating. That is, that's where we are lacking that goal scorer. That's where we're desperately lacking that striker, man. That need, that should be 1-0. Here's Trossard. Can he make up for it? Gets clamped. Here's Odegaard. 30 yards out. Find Saka. We're starting to cook. Here we go. Martinelli picks someone out. Yo! What a save, Ariola! Trossard nearly did make up for it. Hits it on the volley. The only problem, he hits it straight down the middle. What a ball, Martinelli. Havertz does brilliant to duck down at the last minute. Trossard catches it either side of him. Oh, it's a great save. It's too close to him. Alan Smith just said in commentary, a striker scores that. Yeah. That's where we lack... Um, yeah, Ivan Tony scores that header. Trossard's unlucky with the volley there. The header he should have scored. Corner to Arsenal, Saka to take it. We need a goal. We should be 1-0 up. Finally, we don't take it short. Saka whips it in. It's high. Keepers flapping. He gets it away. Back out to Saka. Is he offside? No, I don't think it came off an Arsenal player. Sort your feet out, bro. What a terror. Oh, Trossard on the volley and it goes wide. Should be 1-0 up. Should be 1-0 up. Ah. Should be 1-0 up. 100%. Best, best chance. Best two chances of the game there. Uh, Snake Eyes. Belling them out for the rest of February. High ankle sprain. Wow. Big miss for them, that. Great attempt by Trossard. The volley was good. The header, he should have scored. That The volley is a great save, even though it's straight at him. As a reaction to just get your arm up and tip that over, it's a fantastic save. I'm not criticising him for the, for the volley. He does really well. The header, I think he should nestle that in the corner. Um, here's Mohamed Kudus for West Ham. Arsenal could be on the break here. Odegaard, he needs runners. He needs runners. Saka 1v1. Can he get the shot off? Oh, it's blocked. Get in there, Havertz! <coughs> West Ham clear it. They're on the attack now. Arsenal win the ball back. Ariola's on my FPL bench. What is he doing? Yeah, let in. Here's Saka again. He's getting a lot of space against Emerson. Oh, it's too easy. You're too easy to predict, man. Tries to cut inside, gets yapped. Please, I, I just want one skill from Saka. Just one. One step over. One nutmeg. Just show me at least two or three star skill moves on FIFA. Good header there by Saliba. Ben White does well to clear it. West Ham win the ball back, though, with Emerson. What I'm noticing is, uh, yeah, the donkey has done nothing so far. 
Here's Emerson for West Ham. Well done, David Raya. Stops it going out for a corner. Bowen's getting pocketed. They're playing a long ball up to Bowen. He ain't winning nothing against Saliba. He's getting bullied. Um, I mean, listen, people saying Saka's poor. I, I defended him the other day in the stream saying, listen, his numbers are still fantastic for a 22-year-old that has carried Arsenal at times. But in them 1v1 situations is the biggest thing that I think he has to improve on. He has to become more unpredictable and more skillful when he gets 1v1 because the best wingers get 1v1 with fullbacks and they rip you apart. Um, I feel Saka at times, he still needs to just do something a little bit different to be harder to understand if you're the fullback, but it'll get there hopefully. Um, Arsenal starting to dominate the game, but just still haven't scored. We've had the best chance of the game. Trossard header over the bar should have scored from Saka's cross. In fact, he went just wide. And then a great save by Ariola from Trossard again on the volley. Here's Saka. Cuts inside. Finds Odegaard. Pull the trigger. Deflection. Oh, just wide. Corner to Arsenal. Finally, Odegaard is shooting. Come on. Let's go. It's starting to feel like... Um, it's starting to feel like the West Ham game at home. We're dominating. We're getting shots. At least Odegaard hit, hit that. Deflection, it can go in. It goes out for a corner. Total dominance. Possession, stats, XG merchants, field tilt, all that other stuff. The statos will be absolutely um, loving life. But the most important stat is we haven't scored yet. Can we score from this corner? Declan Rice, in swinging corner. It's high. Gabriel goes up. We lose the, the flick on. Here's Havertz, who I've hardly mentioned in the game so far. We need more from him. Here's Ben White, 30 yards out. Declan Rice does well. Martinelli. Ah, lift your head up, bro. How many times now? Keep the ball. Stop running. Does well. Oh, no, ref. Is that a foul? He gives a free kick to West Ham, I think. Is it Soufal or Kufal? I think Martinelli gave him a little slap in the face by accident. Free kick to West Ham. We need a goal. We need a goal. Anthony said, Curtis livestream viewing numbers, AFTV 4.7, Curtis Shaw 3.3, Lee Gunner 981, Troop 720, Mars 640, Side 598. This community is the real deal. I told you, people don't believe me. Goated community. This community is like Messi 8 Ballon d'Ors. It's goated, people. It goes, it goes without saying, man. It goes without saying. C unit business, man. Kivio's just landed on his back and somehow got a free kick. Fair play to him. Um, just keep getting the wingers the ball early. I'm telling you now, the wingers, in my opinion, are the key to this game. Get the ball to Saka. Get the ball to Martinelli 1v1. Emerson. And there we go. Trossard, what a ball. Great touch by Martinelli. Get at him. 1v1 with Kufau. Whips it in. Oh, no. Can't quite reach it. We've got to punish them. Trossard, you're going to get yapped, bro. He gets yapped by Jared Bowen. Go and clatter him. Don't let him do that. Good lad, Trossard. No, he didn't go out. Damn. There's a real frustration. What a ball from Trossard to Martinelli. Just as I said, get the ball to the wingers. That's an outstanding ball. What a touch by Martinelli. Lays it across. Oh, a second later. And it would have been a tap in for Odegaard. Gets a bit too much power on it and he can't reach it. I'm, I'm I'll be honest, people. For anybody who's not watching this game live, we're dominating, which gives me that positive feeling. Like, we're on the ball. We look comfortable. We look like we can score. But the fact we haven't scored makes me nervous because when we played West Ham at home, 20-odd shots, we ended up losing 2-0. We need to take the lead in this game. We just got to test that goalkeeper out. But big up everyone in the chat. Subscriber only mode as well. 3,700 of you locked in. Make sure you hit the like. 57 on Twitch. Big up the whole C unit. Let's get 3,000 likes on this video, people. Here's Kai Havertz. Here's Trossard. 25 yards out. Great ball out wide to Saka with his left foot. Saka up against Johnson. Whipped in by Ben White to the back post. Flicked away. Don't foul him. Kivior does well. 
Havertz. Kivio whips it in. Corner. Complete dominance in terms of getting high up the pitch, dominating possession. But we have to find the back of the net. Otherwise, does it mean that much? Not really. You know, that's the problem. I mean, I'm just looking at the stats now. Just to give you an idea. 67% possession. Five corners. West Ham have had no shots on or off target. And they've had one corner. We've had four shots off target and two on target. But we have to score. We have to score. In swinging corner again. Declan Rice to take it. Can we score from this header? I'm calling it. Gabriel header back post. Here we go. Yeah! Ah! Get in! There we go! William Saliba gives Arsenal the lead! Declan Rice with the assist! Da -da 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 -da. Saliba! One nil to the Gunners! Declan Rice with the assist! Declan Jaloff Rice gives Arsenal the lead! And Saliba, the French beast, heads it into the corner! Well deserved! And they turn their dominance! Saliba, giant of a header. Get in there. Love that. Saliba. Yes. And Rice with the assist. Get in. 1-0. Big goal, that. Great celebration. Little Thierry Henry knee slide. Woo. We're, we're here. We're cooking, people. Saliba, you know. Let's go. 1-0 to the Gunners. Declan Rice assist. The Mbappe of centre-backs. Hey, talk that talk, man. Why not? Get in. We need that. we got to build on it. That's the foundations. We need the second one now. Let's finish them off. Come on. Here we go. Declan Rice driving run. They can't live with him. Just sold your star to Mikel Arteta. Just sold your star to Mikel Arteta. We buy a net. What is it? Meet me at that. You know I'm on about anyway. Come on. Declan Rice goal would top this off. We're cooking. Saka, right hand side. We're here now. We've arrived, people. Let's go. I would love to see Declan Rice score to see what he does. Whoa, they're singing the Saliba song. Come on. Da, 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 da. Saliba. Go on. Havertz. In possession. Finds Kivio. We need another goal. We need another goal. Come on. Get in there. Here's Saka again. He's getting a lot of the ball. Come on. Take him on. Odegaard. Odegaard. Edge of the area. Ben White on the overlap. Here's Ben White. Ah, it's blocked. Throw into Arsenal. Come on, you got us! Arsenal! 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 Come on! Let's go. Here's Saka. 25 yards out. Into Trossard. Odegaard. They just love playing one-twos. Nobody wants to shoot. Somebody just whack it. Let's get a second. Ball whipped in. Saka! Oh, he misses it! Free header. Great tackle, Declan Rice. Come on. Game's there to be won. Here's Martinelli up against Kufau. Finds Kivio, the Kiwi. Is it ripe? Whips it in. Saka with the header. He puts it wide. Kivio actually puts a good ball in. Saka. This brother can't finish his chances, man. Great ball. Finish. Come on, Bakayo. Saka's got to score that. Should be 2-0. You have got to finish that, man. What a ball, Kivio. Unmarked, about eight yards out. Just guide it into the corner. Two headers in the space of 30 seconds. Saka's put them both. Missed the target. Give Kivio some respect. That's a great ball in from left back. Declan Rice wins the ball. Oh, my God. Kivio got cooked there. We got away with it, though. Good cover. Should be 2-0. Rice over hits the pass. Kivio literally put it on a plate for Saka. Saka dropped it. Should have just headed that into the corner. 
Uh, Comrade said, see today, my younger brother is also a member to this channel, actually. He's proposing to his girlfriend. Can I get a shout out for him? Good luck, bro. Hopefully she says yes. Let us know what happens. Big up yourself. Big up your little bro as well. Here's David Rea, finds Declan Rice. Great first half so far for Arsenal. But um, the only thing I would say, this should be more than 1-0. Here's Saka again, right-hand side, getting loads of the ball. Keep giving it to Saka and Martinelli, I'm telling you. They're the two. Here we go. Odegaard looking for Saka. Saka! Oh, my God! He would not be able to score in Amsterdam with 100 euros in his pocket. How on earth has he missed? What a ball from Odegaard. Just lift it over him. He puts it wide. This brother! What is that? Just chip him. He could have a hat trick. I'm telling you, what's he wearing? New Balance or Skechers? What are them boots? This guy can't finish. Sakako. Sakako. What is this finishing? Saka could have a hat trick. He hasn't got one. This is Bakayo Sakaka, people. Keeper comes flying out, goes to chip it over him, puts it. He's in again here. Saka's in again. That's a penalty, ref. It's a penalty. Yes. Penalty to Arsenal. Saka, don't worry about the missed chances. It's all forgiven. As long as you score this penalty. Saka, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Takes it round Ariola. Is he onside, though? That's onside, man, unless something crazy goes on. Hey, don't worry, Saka. I've always rated you. Great ball, Trossard. Saka, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Takes it round Ariola. I beg you don't tell me he's dived. That's a penalty, bro. There's contact there. I was thinking he was going to give him a red card. That's a pen. LSU, big up yourself, bro. He's gifted five Curtis Shaw TV memberships. Big up on herself. Penalty to Arsenal. Ariola gets a yellow card. Now, the interesting thing, is he onside? He's onside. Are you telling me Kufal at the bottom of the screen is playing him on? If this is disallowed, this stream's got to end. What are you zooming in on, bro? What, like, what are you zooming in on? He's onside. Kufal at the bottom of the screen is playing Saka onside. Shameless sure limitless. You know you get that all day long on this channel. Kufal's playing him onside. What are you zooming in for? I saw it on the first angle. And it looks like Saka's going to take the penalty. If this is disallowed for offside... Even Zuma looks like he's playing him onside. He's onside. You don't, what are you zooming in on? You ain't going to be able to tell when you zoom in like that on some 1080p screen. It's all fuzzy anyway. Just give the damn penalty and get on with it. He's onside. Kufal. Yes! Onside! Penalty has been given. Saka wins the penalty. Now who takes it? Saka or Odegaard? Penalty's been given, people. Here we go. Saka has the ball in his hand. Now, he should have had a hat-trick, so I'm assuming, of course, he's going to take the penalty. Come on, Bakayo. Here we go, people. Let's go. Arsenal have scored every penalty this season. I remember Saka missed a penalty last season at West Ham at the other end of the pitch. He put it wide trying to open it up. This is a massive moment for Bakayo Saka. To put them ghosts to bed. If he scores this, I'm going to feel great. Bakayo Saka against Ariola from the penalty spot. Come on. Don't mash up our Sunday. It's a day of rest. Saka against Ariola. Here we go. To take the penalty. To make it 2-0. Referee blows the whistle. Here comes Saka. Saka scores for Arsenal. Get in there, Bakayo, lad. Yes. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Bakayo! Saka! Run it down the wing, Saka! Bakayo! Saka! Run it down the wing, Saka! Bakayo! Saka! Run it down the wing, Saka!
Saka, running down the wing, Saka, get in! Yes! 2-0 to the Gunners, Saka with the second goal, woo! We deserve it! No more Sakaka, I've always rated him. Get in there, Bakayo, lad! Yes! I respect it. Whips it to the keeper's left. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. Listen, you know, I, we, I deleted a couple of them tweets that was in the drafts. Nobody even knows they existed. Um, but 2-0 to the Gunners. Come on! Saka cool as ice. Yes! 2-0 feels great. I said 3-1, but I want a clean sheet. I really want a clean sheet. Oh, Trossard, good feet. Oh, they've cleared it. Come on, man. That's a big penalty for Saka. Like I said, he missed against West Ham last season at their ground. Big up to LSU. LSU's handed another five memberships out. Big up yourself, bro. Ten new members in the community today. Welcome. Big up everyone locked in. We're in subscriber only mode. 4,000 of you in the chat. West Ham nil. Arsenal two. The goal scorers. William Saliba and Bakayo Saka. Love it. Declan Rice with an assist as well. It's Trossard. He's cooking. That should be a free kick to Arsenal. Bossard playing mad balls from centre mid. Same 1-0 spot on as last season. Boy converts this time, says Carlos. 50th goal for Arsenal. He's got 49 assists as well. 210 appearances, Saka. Got to put respect on his numbers. Peely said you could give the VAR two-piece jigsaw. It would take them an age. Bro, they're pathetic. They were zooming in on things that... What, what are you zooming in on, mate? We can all see he's onside. Yes! Free kick to Arsenal. Come on! I want a third goal. Get this game wrapped up at half-time. End it! Then we can just talk about BBM, Messenger, Biscuits, Hip Hop, NBA, second off. Here's Declan Rice, free kick in swinger. Two minutes till half time. Can we get the third? Rice whips it in. Should be. It is! It is! It is! It's scored by Gabriel Magalhães! Declan Rice with the assist! Woo! There's teeth and hairlines everywhere! Turkish transplants have come to life! Gabriel Magalhães makes it 3 0 to Arsenal! Woo! There's veneers everywhere, people! Hey, Gabby, make them know what time it is! Yes! My centre back, Gabriel Magalhães! What a ball, Declan Rice! Great ball, great ball, he's onside, unmarked, three yards out, heads it in, we are cooking, Declan Rice assist, 3-0, Magalhães, woo! Oh, yeah. what a ball by Deckers, like a young Beckham. What a cross from Rice. He is cooking, people. 105 million, yeah? Woo hey, I'm telling you. No, no bubbles tonight, but I'm forever blowing bubbles. <laughs> yes! 3-0 to Arsenal. What a first half. And we deserve it. This is what West Ham should have got in the home game. Brilliant. Brilliant. Declan Rice, two assists. What a performance. Here come West Ham. Let's not concede. Snake Eye said, uh, I big, uh, told you, Big C, it's 3-1. Now do you believe me? Bro, I'd be disappointed if we concede. Uh, I told you I watched the game. I saw this stream already on the third goal. I gifted a membership. Big up yourself, bro. And big up Snake Eye's gifted five memberships. So we've got 15 new members. Welcome to the community. Yes! Seven minutes added on. Moy's in the mud, people. Ugh, get in! Let's go. Vamos! LSU has gifted another five. Hey, I told you. You're all going to be members by the end of this season. I don't care. We're going to get you all members. What a first half from the Gunners. Absolutely brilliant. 3-0. Seven minutes added on, by the way. Here we go again. We got the ball again. Oh, Ben White. You should have found him there. 
Yes. Second off. Listen, I, I don't care. I want us to smash them to bits. We're, we could be in again here. Here's Odegaard. Right hand side. Give them a 7 8 nil, man. It's Trossard. Whips in. Kai Havertz. Zuma heads it in the air. Thought Havertz was going to score. Jeez. Oh, my days. What a first half performance. Make sure you like the video, people. We're at 1.1k likes. Let's get to 2k before the end of half time. We're free nil up, man. What more do you want? This is beautiful. Epic scenes. Oh, what a performance. Come on. Can we get another one? Havertz finds Odegaard. This movement. Have a pop. It's Trossard. It's Trossard. Ah! 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 It's full. It's 4 now to Arsenal. Leandro Bumbaclaw Trossard bends it into the top corner. Performance of the season. Wow. Wow. Woo. Ric Flair, baby. Woo. Odegaard, what a ball. Zuma. Twisted like the cat who he kicked in the kitchen. Sorry if you're a pet lover. And Trossard bends it in the top corner. We are cooking like Edu's barbecue. Oh, my God. Trossard. Top bins, 4-0, wow, they smoked, they're done, performance of the season, this is incredible, oh, my, oh no, oh, I'm done, I feel, don't do the celebration, I can't handle it, I'll be in the armory tonight, I can't believe what I'm seeing, this is wild, oh my god, 4-0, Mikel, oh, I don't know what to say, I'm lost for words, performance of the season, this is unbelievable, what we are watching, big up Cody mystified, this is what I needed to see, Declan Rice, Mastercard, they're leaving, they're, the West Ham fans are leaving before half time, move, go home, go and get your dinner, it's over, Masterclass, Masterclass from Arsenal. Jesus, what a game. Look how many memberships have been gifted. LSU gifted another five. Big up yourself. Anthony's gifted five. Thank you very much. Welcome to the new members. LSU's gifted another five. Big up yourself. Mohamed Saleh's gifted 20 Curtis Shaw TV memberships. What is going on out here? We're cooking. James of Isaac is a new member. Welcome to the community. We must have got 50 new members today. Wow. Troy Kempi, Trossard, our new centre forward. I agree. I agree. I haven't even changed the score. Trossard in that false nine role is unbelievable. I said it last week. I said, you've got to find a way to get this guy in the team. You've got to. He's that good. Look at the football we're playing. We're... I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. We're, we are a joke. We're an absolute joke. We are a joke. Imagine, we got seven players missing as well. Seven! Seven! We got no party. We got no Timber. We got no Jesus. No Zinchenko. Look, look at that. Fire drill. Look at all these fans leaving. They're gone, mate. The stadium's going to be empty second off. This is incredible. Let me tell you something. We could score again. He should have left it, Ben White. Why did you touch that, bro? You're offside. Oh, my God. Hey, you gifted five Curtis Shaw TV memberships. They're all going to be in Stratford Shopping Centre in the next five minutes. Big up, Ayo. Thank you for the five memberships. Appreciate that. E. Ross, West Ham fans leaving for their Sunday pie and mash. Wow. Cold world, I love this team. Come on, Arsenal, all I need now is for Nigeria to win AFCON. That's going to be a great game later. Big up, Cold world. Big up, Nicholas, for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Oh, my God. Go and Ellie, we are absolutely brilliant today. Bossard up top. Oh, my God, you got to keep him in this team. Jesus can't get back in. Latte, Manchester City, we're coming for you. we got to believe we got to believe hope. Hang on to the hope. Yes, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Yo, these lot are getting cooked. Jeez, what a day at the office, man. 
This is when it's all worth it, you know? Osman, big up, new member as well. Really appreciate it. Zayn Miassi, Zayn, where you been? Long time, brother. Used to be in every stream. Rice Revenge has Rodri and Yaya in his pocket. I mean, listen, still a long way to go, but I hear you. I like the optimism, you know? Still a long way to go, though. But today, he's been cooking like Edu's barbecue, man. It's wild. Big up, Zayn. Big up, Highly Wanted Criminal. Can we discuss other stories? The game is gone. Uh, we might just have general chit-chat second off. You know, what phone did you have growing up? Um, who's your favourite rapper? What NBA team do you support? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? What biscuits did you like after school, you know? Um, throw into Arsenal. I can almost forget about the game. I might just lean back second half like Fat Joe and just... I might be. I might just be both hands back just chilling second half. Uh, Jesus should be that super sub now, says Jorge. Yeah, you can't get back in the team. For Kyo, thank you for the super sticker, bro. Alfred, big up, new member. Allow it, man. See, look at the look at the profile bitch. Said, big C, I'm going back to bed. Big up, go and have a nap. It's done, mate. When you wake up, just see if we won five, six, seven. Uh, Garbo said, Kai Havertz might even score today. Too. Hey, Cruz, come. Get on, give me a review. Since you scored two against West Ham as well. West Ham getting cooked today, so we get you on a half-time review. What are you saying? You good, bro? Yeah. What are you saying, man? Bagged against West Ham. How many did you get today? Two? Two, Two. Yeah. Look, West Ham getting cooked everywhere, bro. Easy. Easy. What do you reckon second half? Uh, I reckon we win 6-7-0. Six, 6-7-0? Seven, nil. Six, seven, nil. Mm -hmm. can, we, can we beat City to the league? Mm. Right, still. Still a lot more to yeah. do. But yeah. we get you up front, you never know. Yeah, no we no. need Ivan Tony first. Yeah. Yeah. Big up though, two goals today. Yes, sir. West Ham, it's been a bad day for West Ham, right? Getting cooked everywhere. Uh, hey, big up to everyone. Half time whistle's gone. I'm hyped. I'm going to have to put out a really over the top tweet, um, probably complimenting Arteta. Mohamed said, uh, We never lost a game with Trossard up front. Is that true? That's unbelievable. There's your answer then, isn't it? You, you play. You play um, you play um, Trossard up front and, and we win. That's probably the answer. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm almost speechless. I'm a little bit speechless. For the right reasons. That is performance of the season. That's the half of the season. Unbelievable. I haven't seen nobody do that to West Ham. I know West Ham are not in great form, but come on. What a first 45 minutes. Absolutely incredible. I would like to see us finish the game, by the way. I get greedy sometimes. So some people will sit there and go, 4-0, game over, just end up winning the game. Me, I'm sitting there at half-time, 4-0, going, yo... Can we give them a six or seven here? Because I'm sorry, I don't know how anybody else feels. West Ham have inflicted a lot of pain on Arsenal over the last year. Knocked us out the Carabao Cup this year. Beat us at home. Drew with them last year. I believe that game led to the title running going downhill. I believe we owe them. So get Moyes sacked. Give him seven nil and get him sacked. I want them to smash West Ham. Their fans are leaving. Um, which is funny. Let's read out these super chats. Uh, big up Ken Jordan, who's gifted a Curtis Shaw TV membership. Big up. Big up Christian, who's gifted one as well. Members are crazy, man. E. Ross said, Curtis, how's the field tilt this game? I don't know. The, the <laughs> Yo, the statos will be loving this. The field tilt and the... Today was a good day, man. Today was a good day. I can't lie. Big up Snake Eyes, he said, for my grandson, he is growing big C, looks so much like you. I hope he scores top bins like you. Roll the clip. <laughs> we roll it once. Run that thing! <laughs> All right, we, st we stop at the top bins. I ain't going to the chip. Even though I love the chip, people accuse it of being offside, but no VAR at that level. Uh, big up yourself, Snake Eyes, man. I hope you're well, bro. Sam has, when I saw the lineup, I was concerned. Thought of the real M Beckham team with stars and lots of losses. What's up, C? If being wrong feels good, I'm super wrong. Let me, listen, big up Samas. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, especially Arsenal fans. Any football fan in general, but especially Arsenal fans. 
the moment that you are in right now, the way you feel right now at this moment, 4-0 up at half time, embrace it, breathe it in. I couldn't even smell much then. My nose has been blocked most of the week. You know, enjoy every single moment of it. Every moment. Text your friends, put the tweets out, wear the shirt in the gym tomorrow, whatever it embrace every single moment of it because let me tell you these moments don't turn up every time arsenal play most of the time i'm planning arsenal therapy i'm ripping shirts i'm doing arteta out i enjoy every moment also also let me do something here that don't happen too often the game isn't finished by the way if we ended up winning this game 4-2 or 4-3 we would still be disappointed so the job's only half done but I'm going to give Arteta huge credit for what I've just seen in that first half. Not just the players. I am going to give Arteta his flowers. Because that performance is outstanding. And people go, oh, West Ham aren't playing that well. The same way they said, oh, Liverpool didn't play that well. The same way they said, oh, Forest didn't play that well. Palace didn't play that well. We are cooking teams. Life has never been the same since he ate that gold steak. I'm telling you, I don't know what the hell was in that. But the brother, we, we're, we look great at the moment. I'm not going to get carried away. I want Arsenal to win the league. I said last year, last week, sorry, we beat Liverpool last year, still didn't win the league. I'm not, I don't get carried away by individual performances and victories. But I just love the fact that how many times have you watched Arsenal this season and gone, Oh, we should be 2 or 3-0 up at half-time, but it's nil-nil. And you get bored of saying it. Actually, we should be 4-0 up, and we are 4-0 up. That is the ruthless edge that we have been lacking. A lot of you said it in the comments, but I agree. You've got to get Trossard in this team. I've been saying it for weeks. I don't know where you play him, but you've got to get him in the team. We're a better team with Trossard in. And in that false nine role, I think that's the role for him. Um, he's brilliant. He's absolutely so clever. Wham up, big up yourself, 10 Curtis Shaw TV members. You know what? Let's get involved. I'm getting involved. Because I'm a community man, and the vibes are good, and we have to enjoy the good moments, right? I'm gifting some memberships as well. i got I got to give back. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm giving, I'm giving a few out as well. Just hit the like button. That's all I want. There's over 5,000 of you in the chat. Hit the like button. Get the likes up. How do you gift memberships on here? Uh, there we go. I hope that's worked. Yeah, five. There we go. Five Curtis Shaw TV memberships gifted out. Bang. No messing around. The vibes are good, man. Celebrate good times. Come on. Even though Curtis Jones probably fuming at home right now. You're not allowed to celebrate. We invented celebrating. Oh, in fact, he don't sound like that. He's got a funny voice. But yeah, we got a, we got a gift out. There's another five. We're all going to be members by the end of the season. I'm telling you. Big up yourselves, people. Great vibes today. Sakharov or Foden. Listen, uh, we spoke about this in the week. On the eye test, I've said it before, Foden is the guy. He's the eye test merchant. But tell Foden to carry the responsibility that Saka's had to carry at Arsenal. I'm not sure he can do it. So there's my answer. I'm sticking with our boy, man. We got, we got a good one. No problem. Usman said, Trossard said his son told him to do the goggles. And whenever he scores and returns home, his son runs up to him and does the celebration. Big up crew. The celebration's just way too much. It makes me just want to type in card details on the Arsenal website in the shop. You know, it, I get super hyped. I really do. Um, Elliot, big up. Shameless Shaw TV is back. I ain't never left, bro. It just needed a moment to just come back to the surface. Big up, Elliot. Sniper said, uh, Curtis, how is the uh, PFL... Pro oh, projected fans leaving. Yeah, man. I, I don't know what happened. Is the fire alarm gone off? Because I just see... Thousands of West Ham fans leaving the stadium. Beautiful scenes. You want to boo Declan Rice? Hold the 4 0. Coburn said, uh, Big up, Big C, bro. 0 4. Rice assist. Light work. Jeez, I can't wait for um, dinner later because they're, they're seasoning it up at West Ham. Um, I can't believe what I'm about to put on the screen. This is a moment. 
I'm going to take this moment. Look at people soak this in. This is, they say if Carlsberg made Sundays, I'm a little bit shell shocked. Fitz Joseph, who everyone knows as the guy that kicks off the door and comes in with the shotgun. He's turned up with presents. He's complimenting. I can't believe today must be a really good day. I'm cheers, everyone. Big up Fitz. Member for 29 months said, given all the injuries and the team selection Arteta was forced into, it was a stunning first up. <laughs> wow. Big up Fitz Joseph. That's when you know we're cooking. Fitz is throwing out compliments left, right, and south. I love it. I love to see it. I love to see it, people. Just imagine if we win the league. I'm not saying we are. I'm not getting carried away. But can you imagine the, sh the shameless level of celebration that we would be doing? Booing the goal, boosting the goal difference so important, says Peely. You're right. You are spot on because now, now on goal difference, we are only two behind Man City, three behind Liverpool. So massive. Can we get a couple more in the second half? White Glove, all the chances are finally going in, Big C. We've waited long enough. Finally, they're going in. That's what we want to see. Goals galore. Uh, Njam said, uh, West Ham being put in a Sunday roast. <laughs> it's great to see, man. Seasoned and cooked. Oz said, big up Curtis in the community. The younger brother proposing today is me. She did say yes. Appreciate the shout out. Thank you. Oz, big up. Yo, what's going on here? We got about 60 new members. Proposals. 4-0 up. Fitz complimenting the group. What a Sunday, man. Just just go for it. That's what it that's what it should teach us. Big up though. Congrats, bro. Congrats. I hope there's plenty of money in the bank because weddings are not cheap. Um Ricky, big up, bro. He's gifted a Curtis Shaw TV membership. Uh Charlie, thank you for the super chat. Kumbu uh spicy rice again, cooked and sent home. Wow, the rice is spicy today, man. I'm telling you. Fitz come the come to Jesus moment, says Brian. Um, King Box never bring a hammer to a gunfight. Yo, the gunners shot down the hammers, you know. That man come in with a toolbox. We come in with a shotgun. Bang! Lick down everything. Uh, Black said Fort West Ham were champions of Europe. Yeah, in that Mickey Mouse Cup. Uh, Jurassic Jai gifted five Curtis Shaw TV memberships. Big up yourself, bro. Members galore today. Uh, Latte said, big up Sir Fitz, legend, big up yourself, Latte, bro. Mr. Cool Bus Driver, nah, I had to screenshot that Fitz Joseph message, you're gonna frame it, it's worth framing, hang it in the louver. Stuart said, neutral in New York, uh, look like your side could overtake Man City on goal difference, this is exactly the win you need to get right back into the title competition, entertaining watch for all. Big up Stuart, I appreciate that, New York in the building. And Jam's now a new member. Big up yourself, bro. Appreciate you joining. Dylan has joined as well as a member. Big up yourself. And uh, Remy is a member as well. Ricky's gifted a membership. And Elliot said Fitz had some last night. <laughs> Fitz must have had a good night last night. Big up Fitz and Mrs. Fitz, man. Godarola said, said we need to run up the goal difference. Perfect first half. And uh, Michael said, the game plus rock turning heel. What a week. Oh, this game plus the rock turning heel. Uh, and Zamir said, I want to see 6-0. I'm with you on that. And Arsenal all the way said, so happy with the performance today. I also want to give a shout out to Xhaka at Leverkusen. If that team goes undefeated in all comps, would they be the greatest team in history? Probably not because there's no Champions League there. And I think you've got to win the Champions League to be the greatest in history. But it's an unbelievable achievement. Wow. So many super chats there to, to read out. There's still a few more, actually. Freedom said, bubbles pop, pop. They all lick down everything. Then bubbles just getting popped. The gun is firing. And Vegas gonna no complaints from me today. Trossard has been exceptional in the Joker role. Yep. And this channel, big up to you with the super sticker. Wow. Over 25 Super Chats there to read out. You guys, thank you very much. 5,000 of you locked in. 72 of you on Twitch. Big up the whole C unit. Listen, let's get 4,000 likes today. That's all I'm asking. That's all, That's the fee to get in the nightclub. You don't have to pay. Just, just hit the like button. We're at 2,000 likes already. So we're halfway there. Let's get 4,000. Um, looks like there's a fire drill. West Ham fans all over. West, I got a tweet. West Ham fans all inside 
Stratford Shopping Centre. All left the stadium. Um, West Ham fans do nibble online as well, so I'll get some interesting replies to that. Um, but you know me, I'm shameless people. Uh, anyway, second half about to start after the break. One thing I will say, one thing I will say for all the hype and everything, I don't want to see Arsenal come out with some slow tempo and go and concede a couple goals and win 4-2, even though it's still a win and cool. I want Arsenal to actually destroy this West Ham team because... We, we've hammered them in that first half. No pun intended. Hammer, West Ham, all of that. I want to see Arsenal win 6 or 7 nil and really say, listen, you're nowhere near on our level. Relax. Um, Calvin Phillips is on for West Ham at half-time. Not sure who's come off. Uh, come on, you Gunners. Hold that, West Ham. Enjoy your trip home. Alvarez and Zuma off. Mavropanos and Phillips on. Goal for the donkey, says Wamot. Yes, please. I'd love to see Havertz score. Uh, West Ham didn't deserve Rice. Disgusting attitude, says Callum. I agree with that. 5K in the watch along. Love how this channel is growing. Big up yourself, bro. Appreciate that. Second half's underway. Marcus, thank you. He's gifted one Curtis Shaw TV membership. And uh, Young Gunner said, uh, in your opinion, where do we rank as a big club for me? Liverpool, United, Barca, Real, both Milan clubs and Juve. Uh, I think we did that the other day. I put us in the top 10. I put us above PSG and Dortmund. Um, you're not far off there. You're not far off, to be honest. I think historically we're the third biggest club in England, United and Liverpool then. As, um, but hey, it is what it is. Let, let's change that history. Second half is underway, people. Let's not concede. I really want Arsenal to keep a clean sheet. Jared Bowen chips it in, goes all the way across the box. Saka does well at the back post and collects it. I feel super relaxed right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Here come Arsenal already with Haver. He just plays the game at a slow tempo. Martinelli. Here's a chance. Trossard! Oh, puts it over! Wow, good ball in there from Martinelli. And... Um... Oh, he could have done better. They should Odegaard have took it. Martinelli does well. Goes past Kufal. Great pullback. Trossard slices it there. Um, over the bar. But, hey, good start. I saw a thing here. Gabriel is the highest scoring centre-back in Europe, I think that just said, since joining Arsenal. What a defender. Uh, Gabriel is now the highest scoring centre-back in Europe since 2020. Gabriel now surpasses, um, it's his 14th goal for Arsenal. Wow, that's crazy. He's now the second highest scoring defender in the history of Arsenal. That's unbelievable. 14 goals. With no penalties, of course. Wow, unbelievable. Fair play to him. Gabriel Magalhães. By the way, West Ham, 28% possession, no shots on target in the first half. That is an absolute beatdown. Arsenal had seven shots on target and scored four of them. Incredible. Um, have you seen that Thierry on re-podcast? Never seen him so vulnerable. Maybe you might relate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of it. Very good, very good. Here come Arsenal on the break. Odegaard, find Saka. Listen, if I'm Saka and people like that, um, I'm looking to get two or three goals today. I haven't seen that, South London. Did you see Gabriel's comments? He was tempted to move on in the summer. I haven't seen that at all. Here's Ben White at the byline. Players in the area are headed away. It's really strange what was going off with Arsenal with Gabriel. I get the impression. What I heard, and again... Oh, ball whipped in, flicked on by Martinelli goes wide. What I heard was Arsenal were worried about finances in the summer. Um, and one of the Saudi clubs made a big offer for Gabriel. Don't know exactly how big it was, but apparently it was a big offer. And Arsenal might have looked at it and thought, well, maybe we could play Ben White with Saliba. Or maybe they thought Kivio might have been ready to play with Saliba. And um, they were going to cash out to balance the books. 
which would have been crazy. Now, I don't know. Yeah, somebody, I saw somebody say that it was 170 million. I'm not sure I believe that. They offered 150 for Salah, so why would they offer um, 170 for Gabriel? I don't, I don't believe it was as high as that. Oh, Havertz shoots just wide. Um, but anyway, it was a big offer, whatever it was, and I think they were possibly willing to cash in, but they changed their mind, which is a good thing. So it would have been, I said at the time, I think it's a huge mistake if they let him go. Nathan said, read this. How come I can't get a membership? It's country restricted and Jamaica is exempt. I've got no idea, bro. I will look into that. Cam said it will be his birthday at 90 minutes to midnight. To top this off, I'd love to see Wanieri or some of the... Give Wanieri a little 10 minute run out at the end, man. LSU said, don't worry, I'm ready to gift out more memberships. He's in a good mood. Arsenal are cooking. And I'm I'm not wearing the LA hat that he usually goes crazy for. Uh, now the negotiations for the new contract with Big Gabby was short and sweet. Nobody reported it. He just signed out of nowhere. I, I, just, I think it was more from Arsenal's point of view. They were maybe tempted to push him out to balance the books financially. But, you know, they changed their mind. New contract. He's delighted. He looks happy at the club. Um, I, I think he's brilliant. I think he's absolutely brilliant. I, I, I think he deserves, you know, he just won Arsenal Player of the Month. He's been nominated for Premier League Player of the Month. I think it's great to see. As I said, it's very easy to just talk about Saliba. Alberto said, Donkey needs a goal would make my day. Uh, that would top it off. I'd love, to, I'd love him to score a belter, like a 25-yarder top corner. I want Declan Rice to score as well, just to shut them up properly. A lot of you saying I would love a membership. Uh, Vernon said happy birthday to his son, Tom. It's his 18th. Big up. Big up. Uh, good thing to low-key Gabby's been better than Saliba. I mean, with the goals, I'd say they've at least been at the same level. Jay said I sent a super sticker. It's not working. No worries, bro. I don't know why. Some countries it don't work sometimes. Here's Ben Johnson. It's cleared away. Good block. Arsenal look like they can hit West Ham on the break. Havertz gets caught there. Declan Rice, too strong for Jared Bowen. Trossard, mate, you are having a stormer. Winds are throwing. I'm so laid back for this second half. I might get a pillow and a, um, and a quilt and just lay down, you know? West Ham getting violated everywhere. Overseas, you might have to change your VPN to UK. I would like to see at least two more goals. At least 6-0 is a real embarrassing battering. Keep a clean sheet, score another one or two. The thing is now, because West Ham are caught in a dangerous situation for them, it's like, do West Ham try and score a couple goals to make the score look respectable? But in doing that, they're going to have to commit people forward. And then we could pick them off on the counter-attack even more, um, which makes it dangerous for them. They're in a very dangerous situation, which you love to see. We want them in this situation, you know. I think we can score another couple. I'm, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see what he does. We don't have a midweek game, um, so it's not like he has to desperately get players off um, to rest them for midweek. Trossard masterclass. He's been absolutely outstanding. Here's Saka. Finds Trossard, who does well. He just looks so tidy on the ball. Trossard sends Suchek to the shops, tries to play it to Ben White, overhits it, goes out for a goal kick. Uh, Curtis, get your blanket. I, I, I might do by the end of this. I'll be laying down. I'll go sleep. Just wake me up. Let me know what the score is. Arteta, hey, listen, you're that guy today, bro. You're that guy. You deserve your flowers. I can't lie. You've uh, you've put up a, an absolute masterclass today. But we have to continue. I said the other day, Arsenal need to win five or six games in a row in the league, and I believe we do. Uh, here's Mohamed Kudus. Good tackle, Kivio. Kivio's quietly having a half-decent game since the first 10 minutes when he looked shaky. Here's Bowen up against Rice. Cuts inside. Finds Kudus. Um, here's Emerson up against Ben White. Keep a clean sheet. We do not concede today, I'm telling you. We do not concede. 
When do you start making changes? See if the game goes flat. The problem is, you look on the Arsenal bench. Who are you desperate to bring on, really? Jorginho apparently has had problems all week, so you don't want to bring him on. Um, it, it's difficult. I'd like to see Wanieri get a run out. Last 15. He's going to bring Eddie and Ketty on. He's, he can't deny that, can he? Uh, Curtis, with Calvin Phillips and ESR, do you think English players still not learning from the continent about how to... Well, that's been thrown at both of them, hasn't it? I haven't heard that said this season about ESR, but it was definitely thrown at both of them that they, you know, they, they've allowed themselves to not keep fit. And, you know, there were rumours at one stage that ESR was eating a lot of junk food, although... There was a, a story that he'd got a chef. I think Kieran Tierney's chef became um, ESR chef as well. So, yeah, I don't know. It's a strange one. Maybe Nelson could do with 20 minutes. I suppose you could use it as an opportunity. Maybe you take Rice and Saka off last 20, give him a break. Um, NBC pundits here praising Arteta's tactical change from Liverpool. Yeah. I mean, it was forced on him, but I am still going to give him credit for the way we're playing. West Ham in possession. Mohamed Kudus, 10 minutes into the second half. I could use a pet. Hey, listen, mate. You know, proper. Pro we would never put in a performance like this, West Ham. You're an embarrassment, mate. You know, we went to City yesterday. I'd say for 75 minutes, we were the better team. You know, it's not fair anyway, because, you know, the guy up front's a robot. So, you know, but, you know, we eat bricks, we eat wood, we eat concrete. But, you know, the, the robot, the metal, we just couldn't deal with that, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'm going to drink some petrol and. Uh, Continue this game. Uh, you know what? I can't actually do that um, impression for too long because I've had a cold this week. So probably doesn't sound quite as good. Um, but listen, this is just vibes. We're vibes in right now. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I could. I might get a hot chocolate and put my slippers on. Now, Retro, the, um, the Champions League game against Porto is the following week. Champions League games are this week. But not Arsenal's ones. Um, I think it's Man City. Yeah, Man City, Copenhagen, PSG are playing, Sociedad. We play the following week, so we don't have a midweek game. Are you still Arteta out? Listen, give him till the end of the season. Give him till the end of the season. Let's see what happens. And we go from there. We're in a good we're in a good mind frame right now. Let's let's put that discussion on the back burner, right? I just want Arsenal to do well. This is what people have to understand. I want Arteta to do well. I want Arsenal to do well. That's all I want. Yeah. At the end of the season, we'll have a conversation. Depends where we finish, what we win. Um, Brian said, I like this lineup. Well, we do now. We're 4 0 up. I want sure at the start of the game, but yeah. Would you sub on the Young Bucks? 100%. Especially Wan Eri, because he looks a proper player. Really good dribbling, a lot of pace, good player. Arsenal fans are loud. Well, West Ham. Look how many empty seats there are. Let's embarrass them. Honestly, the way Trossard is dropping into this false nine role is a joy to watch. Honestly, he is exceptional. Saka, they're enjoying the game. What a ball. Oh, my God. Havertz into Saka. Into Saka. Saved by Ariola. Miss hit by Kivior. Could have been five. Great football. Lovely little touch. Odegaard rolled it into Havertz, set Saka, he was struggling to get the ball out of his feet, hits it, and saved by Ariola. Kivior nearly scored the rebound, um, and it could have been five, but we're dominating still, still dominating. Odegaard is fouled there by Kudas, free kick, just over the halfway line. Lovely ball, Odegaard. Great touch, Havertz. Unlucky there. Better footwork from uh, Saka. Kivion maybe should have scored the rebound. Make no mistake about this game. This is a Trossard masterclass, honestly. He is absolutely balling. Here we go. Havertz. Oh, Martinelli's shot is blocked by Trossard. Odegaard hits the byline, drills it across. It's cleared. We are swarming them. Absolutely swarming them. This is brutal. Ben White, it's like a training session. Oh, they're dropping dummies and allays and also Havertz gets bullied. 
Here come West Ham, Calvin Phillips. He ain't running away from no one. Good tackle, Saka keeps it in as well. Lovely play. Oh, 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 oh this is this is our lay settings. Hey, they're all laying. Oh, hey, hey, yo, they're all laying. When's the last time you saw this? Um. I'm going to start getting cheeky online now. Uh, hi, Sky Sports. Wanted to watch West Ham v Arsenal. But instead, you're showing, <laughs> you're showing an Arsenal training session. <laughs> I can't help it, people. I'm sorry. Can you please advise? Oh dear. Wanted to watch West Ham VR instead you're showing us. <laughs> oh dear. You listen, you gotta enjoy it. It don't happen often, does it? They're olaying in the 50th minute. It's it's wild. It's absolutely wild. Uh, anyway, sorry. Honestly, West Ham fans are going to go mental in the replies. They get angry online if you diss them. Um, Dre said, "Stay home." But, uh, listen, I'm I'm running with it. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy. Not too crazy, but I, I have to. They were booing Declan Rice. They were trolling when they beat us the other week. They was in my comments giving all sorts of. I'll leave it at that. I won't say anything else. I think that one's. Oh, Trossard, you're getting carried away now, trying to flick it round, people. 30 minutes to go. Can we celebrate or are the police out? I, I don't know. I believe there's police there ready to arrest us if we if we applaud the fans. Jerome said, uh, who's your man of the match? Leandro, Bomber, Clark, Trossard, bro. That's the one for me. Obviously, there's a lot of special mentions, of course. Free kick. Martinelli gets pushed to the floor there by Mavropanos. Once a gunner, always a gunner. Um, 29 minutes to go. It's the Dubai tax. Wild scenes. We're all laying in the 60th minute. If you think I'm not going to go over the top, you're completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. I'll leave it at that though. I will leave it at that. Rice is hobbling a bit. I don't like to see that. Get him off. I do not like to see that. I'm just looking here. Um, Arsenal's fixtures. Our next game is next Saturday. Burnley away. You would hope we would smash them. Then it's the Champions League game against Porto. Then it's Newcastle at home. Then it's Sheffield United away. So a good chance for us to get a few wins there, I would think. Arsenal keeping possession well. Martinelli, Kufau is hunting him down. He looks angry with him. Rice finds Saliba. We're just keeping the ball nicely. I definitely want to see another goal or two. Here's Saka. On the half turn, great ball out wide. It's Kivior on the overlap, striding forward. Little ball around the corner. They're all, the, the, the confidence levels are over the top here. I'm loving it. The hammers are getting nailed, said Andy. Ariola, man of the match. Here's Saka in the area. Cuts on to the left. Scores! Bukayo! Saka running down the wing. Saka running down Saka running down the wing. Easy, easy, easy. 5 0 to Arsenal. Smash, bang, wallop. Snap, crackle, and pop. And there ain't no Rice Krispies anywhere. Saka cuts inside and smashes it into the bottom corner. Odegaard with the assist. Saka drifts inside Mavra Panos. In fact, it's a, a gear, a, a guard, whatever. 5 0. Bottom corner. Wow. It's five. It is five. Saka. Wow. They're getting the beatdown of all beatdowns. Got to put respect on Saka, man. It's a numbers game. Uh, and he's putting up numbers. Five million of people. Wow. Unbelievable. Five nil to the Arsenal. 
Incredible. I can't even believe it. Bakayo Robin. Starboy. Carnival settings. Wow, we're winning 5-0 against West Ham. Moisey could be getting the P45 if we get another one or two. We want six. We want six. We want six. Come on. We want more, man. Way, Salman, big up yourself, my bro. He's gifted five Curtis Shaw TV membership. I got five on it, honey. Let's see with that. Oh, yeah. I got five on it. Yo! Can you believe what's happening? They're getting hammered. Absolute, no pun intended. Uh, big up LSU who's gifted five as well. Big up yourself, bro. So many new members. What a day. What a performance. This is outstanding. Beat down settings. It's easy. It is easy. It's Sako on a hat trick, by the way. Finds Martinelli. We need more. Look. Oh, my God. Here's Ben White. They're taking the mick. Is Oh, they got in each other's way. Daka. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! Daka Rice puts it in the top corner. He refuses to celebrate. That is the icing on the cake. Jalof rice. Rice and peas. Oh my god. Declan Rice has smashed it into the top corner. They're finished. That is the icing on the cake. That's unbelievable. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. 6 0 to Arsenal. Declan Rice smashes it into the top corner. Ben White rolls it back. Trossard and Odegaard. He's like, get out of my way. Oh, my God. It's like prime David Beckham. Oh, wow. Ben White will get the assist. What a, what a hit, son. What a hit. Declan. Oh, my days. That is incredible. Declan Jaloff Rice. 6-0. Oh, my God. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Ty was in the car. Make him the captain. 6-0 to the Gunners. He's coming off. I want to hear if they applaud him. Applaud him, man. Look at these. Look at them. Green Street. You know what I mean? See some of them. Uh, and then he's coming on. Deckers, you, mate, are a legend. You're a legend. They should applaud you for what you did for them. Declan Rice, what a signing, what a player, what a player he is, what a hit. You sold your star to Mikel Arteta, you sold your star to Mikel Arteta. You sold your star to Mikel Arteta, you sold your star to Mikel Arteta. Meet me at the hold. Oi, oi, have you ever seen a double change like this? Eddie and Ketia and El Nenny coming on. The stuff of dreams, people. Rice and um, who's that coming off? Trossard. Saka's off as well. Didn't get his hat trick. Nelson's on. 6 0. Yep, you were saying we want six. Go and Ellie, we got it. We want seven now, bro. We want seven. Salmon, big up, bro. He's gifted another membership. Oh, so many members. LSU's gifted another five. Big up yourself, bro. So many new members. Big up Cody Mystified. Thank you for the super chat, bro. That's what I was waiting for. Well done. The rice is well and truly cooked. This is one of the best performances that we have put in in years. This is incredible. You couldn't write this. You could not write this, honestly. This is incredible. Um, Marco said, might as well the West Ham players get down the tunnel. Where's Carragher? Exactly. Bon Carragher. Big up Snake Eyes. He's gifted 10 Curtis Shaw TV membership. You guys are unbelievable. Over 5,000 of you in the chat. Massive thank you to all of you. So many new members today as well. Enjoy this. Saka looks annoyed on a hat trick, cooking the fullback. Probably disappointed, but the team's bigger than any individual player. Keeping him fit. West Ham might start kicking people now. You never know. Uh, Brian said, big up Arteta. I've always rated him. <laughs> oh, dear. I might have to tweet that later on. 
I'll get hammered in the comments, but I'll, I'll take it. Beresford said, I actually cooked jollof yesterday and now jollof rice is cooking West Ham. Bro, big up Beresford, man. The rice is well and truly cooked. Dre said, rice goal, I'm on a delay. That's a hell of a delay, man. Where are the young players? Yeah, man. To be fair, one area I would love to see get a run out, bro. Come on, 6-0. Give him 20 minutes. El Nenny in midfield now. El Nenny in midfield. This is just unbelievable. Declan Rice. Look, West Ham fans still leaving. I'm surprised the stadium's not empty. It should just be Arsenal fans in there. This is the peak performance of Arsenal since he's been in charge. I want seven. I think when you beat someone seven, it's like, I don't know, it just sounds different. Um, AFTV still watching the first goal. They'll get there, don't worry. Best game under Arteta, it feels like it. When have we done this? Oh, good block, Gabriel goes out for a corner. Do not concede. Penalty spot said, good to see Arteta. Oh no, someone's injured for us. Good to see Arteta blood in the youth players. Girl, yes, sarcastic, but come on. Martinelli's down holding his ankle. I do not like that. Cole said, I'm gassed up. Uh, I'm gassed. Big up to my uncle, Paul Cavu. Passed. He's a true Arsenal fan. Born five minutes from Highbury. Highbury. He passed just after Xmas. We'll be loving it. Hey, shout out, bro. Come on. He'll be loving this. Big up yourself, Cole. Thank you for the comment. Being a member for a month. Appreciate it. Martinelli was down holding his ankle. He is standing up. Surely now you just take him off. He's limping, man. Get him off the pitch. Give one eerie 20 minutes on the left wing, man. See, time for your jersey. Time for your jersey, eh? I, I, I said I would not buy that yellow kit unless we won a major trophy. I, I don't rate it as a kit, but I said if we win something, I'll, I'll grab it. So let's see. Long ball. Can we score? Um with now the changes that we've made. Obviously, Eddie and Ketty is on the pitch. Nelson's on the pitch. El Nenny. Here's Odegaard. He's got no one in front of him. Drops the shoulder. Odegaard's had a brilliant game. To be fair, there isn't an Arsenal player on the pitch that hasn't had a good game. So, oh, Nelson slips over. Here's El Nenny. Oh, tries to do the Declan Rice finish, but goes straight to the keeper. Looking at the lineup, Rayo. Comfortable. I had nothing to do. Ben White's been solid. Up against Kudus. No, Kivior has actually done all right. Sorry, against Kudus. Uh, ben White's done well against Johnson. Two centre-backs been solid. Both scored. Rice was outstanding. Odegaard's had a good game. Havertz has done okay. Nice touches. Still probably had the quietest game out of our attack. Saka's had a great game. Scored a couple. Trossard balling. Martinelli, very good as well. Big C, if you bought the righty training kit, I never bought it, you know. I didn't buy it. Um, I wanted it in a hoodie, but obviously they only brought it in the zip-up tracksuit top and the jacket. Um, but, hey, it is what it is. Uh, Curtis, last time El Nenny played when I went to Sheffield in March. Uh, Sheffield match, sorry, in October. Michigan said Arteta out still. No, nah, he can he can stay today. He can we'll keep him till next week. I'm joking. Listen, forget it. End of the season, we'll have the conversation. Let's just let's just stick together. Paul said I got a membership. Thank you so much and big up the community. Big up Brown. Big up everyone who's gifted them. One more goal. Honestly, I want seven. I know it sounds greedy, but seven is like annihilation. Found any scores. I'm shutting it down, yeah. Remember El Nenny's goal against Barcelona in the new Camp all them years ago? Um, yeah, we need seven. We need seven. We don't need a striker now. We still do. Still do. False nine don't work every week. And, you know, you need different options. Well, I think what we've established now is that Trossard... If he can continue to play like this or close to this, maybe Trossard is a better striker option than Gabriel Jesus, which is wild. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Here's Martinelli left-hand side. Here's Eddie Nketiah. 
Oh, hits it straight at the keeper. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Um, who's going to get that seventh goal for us? Will it be Havertz? Will it be Nketiah? One more goal takes us above City. Is that where we're at? Let me uh, double check. I think you're right, actually. Goal difference could count for a lot at the end of the season. You never know. Yeah, we are now on plus... Yeah, we're level with City. We're on plus 31. City are on plus 31. Liverpool on plus 32. We need to score again. I'm telling you, I want another goal. Keep a clean sheet and get another goal. Um, free kick to Arsenal about 35, 40 yards out. Odegaard's going to take it. 29. Can you do something for me? Yeah, we could do the goal. This game has Curtis Chant in Eddie's name. It's wild. Hey, I heard you were a wild one. It's wild, people. It's all going off. It's one of them Sundays. I'm going to chill. I'm going to watch Man United, hopefully, get beat. But then Villa in the top four. But, yeah, still, we watch that game. We watch AFCON, Super Bowl, dinner. It's a beautiful Sunday, people. Beautiful Sunday. Come on. Let's get the seventh. Let's really finish. Well, the game's finished, but... A shameless seventh. Odegaard to take it. In swinging free kick. Whipped into the back post. Kivior is dragged to the floor. How are we not complaining about that? Oh, Martinelli. Hey! Martinelli making Kudus look, look like he just, he's rubbish. Oh, he's down again looking injured. Yellow card for Kudus. Gabriel, yeah, man. Pull up on these, man. What? Shut your mouth, bruv. You wanted to sign for Arsenal anyway. Chris said, I've just finished playing football. I can't believe the score 6-0. Crazy, bro. Performance of not only the season, of probably the last few years. Look at what he's doing to him there. Flicks over his head. It's a dirty challenge as well. He just kicks his calf. Kudus getting frustrated. Burkowski said, I want eight. I'll never forget how that eight 2 made me feel. Let's dish out some pain. Let the haters hate. Big up, bro. We don't like to talk about that 8 2. Um, Emerson comes off. Cresswell comes on. Come on, man. Give one eerie 10 minutes, bro. Come on. Surely. We're winning 6 0. You telling me one eerie can't get a little 10 minutes against West Ham? Big up, my East London brother, Broads. Respect to Chris. Putting Eddie in his channel name because he loves Nketiah. Well, I'm not sure if it's that, but big up, my bro, Broads, man. One more goal, come on. Yes! One Eerie! One young and one old. I love that! One Eerie's getting his run out. Petrol station Cedric's coming on as well. One Eerie gets his run out. Now the messages are rolling in. Um, come on, who's off? Martinelli's off, good, he keeps getting kicked. Ben White's off, Cedric. Come on, Cedric, lad. Petrol station, Cedric. My petrol buddy. I'm delighted. If Juan Eri scores, I'm going mental. How old is Juan Eri now? I think he's like 16 or 17, isn't he? Ethan Juan Eri is 16, you know, 16 years of age playing in the Prem. If Juan Eri scores, I'm going mad. I really want him to score as well. There you go. That's it. Clamp him down, yes? Juan Eri with the foul. Great to see Juan Eri get a run out. All the boys look happy on the bench. What a day. 16 years of age playing in the Prem. You've got to respect that, man. It's wild. What was you doing at 16, man? You know what I mean? This guy's in the Prem. And I think Chelsea, Man City and somebody else won it, tried to buy him in the summer. Luckily, he signed a new deal. Come on. Let's get another goal. Here's Cedric with the clearance. Looking for Eddie. The team we've got on at the moment is insane. Havertz, El Elneny. Um, Eddie and Ketia. Moise, he's sat down, man. He's given up. This could be the P45. Man, here we're going to bring his Arsenal shirt to um, circle time at school. How did you get on at the weekend? Well, I just played in the Prem. Here he is on the ball as well. Looks calm. 
Not even my surname is Edwards. <laughs> Do you know what? I love how Chris came back and justified it. Like, no, I'm not an Eddie fan. <coughs> bros, bros got man justifying themselves to say, listen, I... come on, Eddie, lay it off. Oh, I could have passed that. Um, we want the seventh. Well done, Mikel. Yeah, give him his run. Here's one Eerie. Left footed, yeah? Just keep the ball, bro. I'm sure you'll get a moment. I'm sure you'll get a moment. Big up, Chris Edward. Big up, Broads. Let's get the likes up, people. Come on. Let's get 4,000 likes. That's all I'm asking, please. I don't know what we're on at the moment. It helps, man. YouTube, they love it for the algorithm. The more likes, they'll share the videos, more views. You know how this game goes. There's over 4,000 of you in the chat. The support today has been unreal. It was over 5,000 at one stage. 4.6K we got in at the moment. We're at nearly 3,000 likes. Let's get to 3,000 before the game ends. Free kick to Arsenal on the halfway. I'm almost forgot that there's a game on. Like, is 11 minutes left. Um, High Berserker badge. I hope the seventh goal is our 16-year-old. I hope so. Yo, look at this old West Ham fan, man. He looks tired. I feel for him. I feel for him, but, you know... It's either them or us at the end of the day. How do I become a member? You are a member, bro. Famous youth, you're a member. You got a membership tag next to your name. Can we celebrate now? Nah, don't let anybody see it. You'll be arrested. Curtis Jones said we're copying um, by celebrating. So we're going to have to not celebrate um, because they'll they'll arrest us for that. Um, here's Wanieri. Finds Eddie. Come on. Eddie's desperate for a goal. Wanieri, good little turn. Oh, unlucky, unlucky. Tries to find Eddie there. It's cleared. Uh, Vegas Gunner, I wanted to see what Walters could do. Uh, have we made all five? We've made five now as well, I think, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we've made all five. Um, but at least one of them got on. We're still, uh, we're still O'Laying, by the way. They said we are not good away from home. Oh, good ball by Odegaard. Finds Nelson. Here's Wanieri. Come on. Here's Havertz. Oh, here we go, Nelson. Oh, he should have shot. Here's Wanieri. No space. Oh, and then he shoots over the bar. Over the crossbar. Nine minutes to go, people. That guy D said, uh, the love in the community today has been next levels. Big up yourself. I told you, people, it's, uh, we, we, we're a reflection of the team. When the team does well, look at the vibes. When we're bad, yeah, meltdowns are going on, I'm afraid. It is happening. But ain't it crazy to think if you doubled, no, how old is he? No, Jorginho's 32. Jorginho is double the age of one area. How crazy is that? Absolutely crazy. 16 years of age. This is a training session. I want a clean sheet, though. Here is um, Jared Bowen. Gets bullied by Gabriel. He does win the ball back, though. Don't concede. Always oh, Kudus gets the byline. Good block by David Rail. Bowen shot deflected, goes out for a corner. Good defending, lads. Good defending. Listen, I think we have to understand the game dynamics was always going to change. We've brought Cedric on at right back for Ben White. We've got Elneny in the role that Declan Rice was playing. We've now got Nelson and Wanieri out wide instead of Martinelli and Saka. And we've got Enketia up front instead of Trossard. So... It was always going to be difficult to get the seventh goal. I know, listen, I wanted the seventh goal as well. You never know. There's still eight minutes to go. Um, but it's going to be difficult. Corner to West Ham. Don't concede. I want the clean sheet for Arsenal. Jared Bowen whips it in the air. Well done, David Raya. Come on, let's hit him on the break. Here's one Eri. Go on, run him. Run him. Up against Ben Johnson. Lift your head up. Lift your head up. you got support. That's a foul. Well done. I like it. It's a shame he couldn't pick the pass out, but I like the all black boots. I remember back in the day, man, I said, did you know Thomas Partey is triple one here his age? <laughs> he might be his dad, to be fair. He could be his granddad. Um, Kojo said, big up for the membership. Best community for sure. Brilliant. Nah, it's good to see. Good to see. Come on, can we get another goal? Seven minutes to go. Odegaard gives it to one here. Looks good on the ball, though. I always think you can just tell the way a player controls the ball. Good ball into Havertz. Here's Nelson. Tries to find Eddie. Goes all the way across. 
Cedric stands it up to the back post, goes over Havertz and Kudus. Don't foul him, Kivy, or don't let him off. Um, all black academy boots. Now, a lot. Of, I always used to think that was a bit crazy, man. In academies, they used to say you have to wear all black boots. Um, they don't do that nowadays, by the way. You know, they wear anything they want. But yeah, in, back in the day, man, you know, they was like, yo, you've got to wear black boots in the academy. Odegaard gives it away there on Lucky. LSU said, as a community, we need to speak the truth, provide honest criticism. We can still do that with a positive voice. You're right. You're right. True, bro. Bad results in bad vibes. Good results is good vibes. Yeah, it is what it is. One ear is going all the way to the top. I hope so. At Arsenal. Spider Boy, imagine playing in the Premier League at 16. Unbelievable. Clean Sheet gets us 20 memberships. Wow, Mohammed, here you go. He's spoken. Clean Sheet, there'll be another 20 memberships. He's already gifted 20. It was for the egos, Big C. No stars while learning. Yeah, you all look the same. There's no flash boots. And yeah, I get it. I do get it. Nowadays, obviously, they don't. They don't mind. Jamrock said, this one deserves a mention. Stat attack. Trossard scored Arsenal's 8,000th league goal. Fair play. Odegaard in for man of the match. Brilliant game. Going to be hard to pick a man of the match. I've got to be honest. So many good performances. Who do you actually go for? I'm looking at it on one hand going, you can't ignore the back four. They've kept a clean sheet. Saliba and Gabriel have scored. That is an incredible performance from your two centre-backs. Two full-backs have done well as well. Trossard, I just think, has had an outstanding game. Scored a great goal, elite celebration. You look at Declan Rice, scored one and got one assist as well. You know, in such an emotional game for him. Uh, two assists, I think, actually. Unbelievable performance by him. Um, and Saka's bag too. So, listen, we're going to enjoy player ratings tomorrow. We'll have a very good conversation uh, about man of the match. I think Declan Rice... Um, has been absolutely outstanding. I've got to be honest, even though I think it's been a Trossard masterclass, I'm probably just leaning for Declan Rice. Such an emotional game, getting booed, two assists and a goal, and not just a goal. You know, bends it in the top corner from 25 yards out. I'm probably just going for Declan Rice. Um, but I've got no problem with Odegaard, with Trossard, with Saka, with Gabriel, with Saliba, go with anyone you want. There have been so many good performances. Yeah, Rice, two assists. Odegaard's got two assists as well. Um, ben White with an assist. So, yeah, I'm leaning. I'm going for Rice. Two assists and a goal in such a big game for him. I'm going for him. Under a lot of pressure. Free kick to Arsenal. Nelson. All the way across, flicked away. Waneri blocks it, goes out for a throw. Yeah, um, you know what? Let's get a poll up. It's going to be hard, actually, to... I think it only lets you put four or five options. How do you narrow it down to four or five? Um, who is your... Man of the match. Uh, let's go Rice. I probably shouldn't have done this because I don't know how I'm going to narrow it down. Rice, Trossard, Odegaard or Saka. Let me just be an attacking merchant. Apologies for ignoring the um, the defenders who've been great. I'll go Rice, Trossard, Odegaard, Saka. But if you think it's someone else, feel free to name them. Could quite easily be Gabriel and Saliba. Goal and a clean sheet would be incredible. But Rice for me. Rice, but Trossard was a masterclass, honestly. It was incredible in that false nine role. Kudus up against Kivior. He's done him. Great defending, Gabriel. Great defending again. Rice for sure. A lot of people... Did Tuchel get sacked? I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. Sam has said, Rayo man of the match. Unfair, can't separate Anfield player 
All 10 out of 10s. Mikel, two for man of the match. I don't think Reyes had enough to do to get man of the match, but he's definitely had a, a, a solid game. With He's only had one shot on target, and it was pretty much straight at him. So, But Reyes doing well again. Havertz, probably been our quietest attacker. Not bad, though. Coach, you didn't read my super chat earlier. Apologies, bro. My apologies. I didn't see it, honestly. Or maybe it didn't show up. Big up, Abdullah. Patrick said, Rice Krispy Curtis. Snap, crackle, and pop, bro. You know what I mean? We pop them bubbles. Rice has four goals, four assists. He's outstanding. Curtis, your all-time favourite Arsenal player. Thierry Vavavoom Henri, my friend. That's the only answer. Um, all played well. Uh, listen, Rice is becoming, like, quietly my favourite player at Arsenal. I'm being honest. And I'm an attacking merchant, so... The way he's played since coming to Arsenal, I, I love his attitude, his personality and everything. Yo, Kivio just got nutmegged by Kudus, but um, Nelson got on the cover and uh, helped him out. We want seven to go above City. Yeah, can we get one more? In the 89th minute, we're on the attack as well. Are you driving to the Olympic Stadium? Nah, that's a bit too far, man. Here's Wanieri. He just looks so calm on the ball. He does. He cleans up everything. Um, Rice. Here's Wanieri again. I reckon Wanieri's probably bossing the youth teams, man. Because he... Oh! Naughty challenge there, man. Three minutes added on. Is that a free kick? Yep, yellow card. Free kick to Arsenal. Nelson gets wiped out by Kelvin Phillips. I've got jokes in my head at the moment, but I'm not going to say them about Phillips. Um... But, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would know what I'd be thinking. Yolandi said, Daddy has done it again. We have won every game since he passed Sprinkle Spring. Big up, Yolandi, man. Shout out your dad. He's, he's brought that magic, man, to Arsenal. Hopefully, he leads them to the title. Wanieri is a talent, 100%. He just looks calm on the ball, you can see. Abdullah said, love this channel, Curtis. Big up, man. Vibes. You guys make it what it is. Thank you to all of you for tuning in. Free kick to Arsenal, three minutes added on. Nelson in swinger. Can we get a uh, a seventh just to really cement it? It's a terrible cross. Cleared at the near post. The stadium's half empty. Another foul there on Nelson by Kufal. Free kick again. Shaquille said, uh, Big C, I'm a goalkeeper. Rare has had a stormer. Concentrated uh, after being so inactive so long. Every uh, threat he's claimed, Ariel. Not a man of the match, but goalkeeping is not always safe. No, I totally agree. Totally agree. A lot of a lot of goalkeepers are the the best ones are the ones that don't have to do much because to keep that concentration level there is very difficult. But I just think one shot on tar. He's had a great game. He'll get good player ratings. I just can't put him above what I've seen of Trossard, who's been outstanding, what I've seen of Declan Rice, Saka and Odegaard. And, uh, but he'll definitely get a high player rating. Pat said, we rinse them. They won't even need a shower after the game to clean their jerseys. We took them to the cleaners. You're, you're not wrong. Oh, Eddie was nearly in. Come on, Nelson, nick that. Oh, Kufal's got it away. Minute to go. This could be the last chance. Havertz, come on, pick someone out. Here's one here. Have a shot. Tries to find Eddie. Eddie, it's a stupid foul, bro. No need. Free kick to West Ham, edge of the box. Big up Claudia said, big up Big C. C unit from uh, Metro Washington, D.C. Come on, you Gunners. Going for the 49ers tonight. It'll be a good game. Big up to you, D.C. I enjoyed it there, man. Nice city. Eddie again, running around, fouling people. Um, is he getting a yellow card? Eddie has zero ball IQ. Uh, dear. Just tuning in. Can you give me a recap? Uh, basically, you know Edu's barbecue? Uh, yeah, we put all 11 West Ham players in there. Season them up and uh, it's dinner time. They've been cooked, bro. 6-0 hammering. Over 1,000 votes on the poll already. Legends. Legends. Hit the like button. We're at 2,900. We got to get 3,000. We want 4,000. Full-time whistle goes... Game over. Unbelievable performance. Absolutely incredible performance. That best performance of, I wouldn't even just say the season. I would go beyond that, to be honest. That is absolutely 
incredible from Arsenal. Moisey straight down the tunnel, fuming. Impulsive said, I finally see why Raya may be an upgrade on Ramsdale. I agree. Calm nature, ability to collect crosses, I respect it. Declan Rice back on the pitch, shaking hands with the players. Best away game so far in the Premier League. Destroyed. Sean Dyche, 6 now. I mean, they got absolutely hammered, mate. You'd never do that to Everton. Because, uh, you know, if you went 2-0 up, I'd put you in a headlock. You know, I'd tell Seamus Coleman to two-foot someone. I mean, he probably wouldn't make it because he's 700 years old, but he'd try his best, bless him. Um, yeah, you're a disgrace, West Ham. If that was me, mate, I'd have just kicked someone on the kneecap. So, anyway, we eat bricks, we eat wood, we eat concrete. I'm off to eat some... Uh, some glass and uh, wash it down with some diesel petrol. Um, anyway, people. Hey, Mohammed, he came through. <coughs> he came through. He said um, 20 memberships will be gifted if we keep a clean sheet. And we did. Nice to see now uh, Declan Rice is getting some applause from the West Ham fans. Although there's only four of them left in the stadium. But no, nah, I'm joking. Most of them went at half time. He is getting applause from the fans and he deserves it. He, you could say he was a legend for them. He won. He was their captain when they won the European Trophy. Big up, Mohammed. Twenty memberships. Snake Eye said, "Thanks, Big C. I will be coming to England in April. Check your email after this. Thank you to the community. Big up. Let's all be members. Big up to you, bro. I'll check my emails. Uh, do you know what? Let's round it up. Let's round up. Couple things. Couple things to round up. Don't go anywhere. It's not over yet, people. Don't go anywhere." Um, we've hit 3,000 likes, absolute legends. Because we have hit 3,000 likes, I'm going to gift another five memberships out myself. Let's get gifting. Five more. There we go. Five more in the comments. Let's get you all members. Uh, second of all, who have you voted man of the match? Declan Rice, 62%. Trossard, second. Odegaard, third. Saka, last. 1.4k. Incredible. Saka scored two. We're not voting in man of the match. That shows how good the performance was. Absolutely outstanding performance. Um, that there, I wish they could bottle that performance and sell it in the shops. Forget Prime, bottle that performance up and give us that. That was absolutely amazing. Now, listen, you can't play like that every week, of course. Look at Ty, yo, Ty. My brother Ty, you know, yo, headphones on, big him up. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I have never met a more committed football fan than him. He is like, he wears, you, when you meet him, and I'm sure a lot of you have met him, some of you will see it online. Arsenal tracksuit, Arsenal t-shirt, Arsenal hat, Arsenal headphones, Arsenal gloves. He watches the under-21s, he watches the under-23s, he watches the women, he goes home and away to every game. That guy there, he deserves that. He deserves that. He's a great guy as well. Real funny character. Big up time, man. He is a hardcore, lives and breathes Arsenal. I'm telling you. Like, um, Arsenal water bottle, all of it. But listen, big up to all of you, man. Been an incredible stream. Probably a goated stream. Um, from looking there, we've got... We've got 95 new members today. 95 new members, which is incredible. Burkowski said, I wonder if the celebration police will have a problem of the players applauding the fans. No, they'll be handcuffed as they go down the tunnel. Jamie Carragher will probably be spitting on them um, like he spat out of his car window. Um, that there is one of the best performances that I've seen in years as an Arsenal fan. Genuinely. That is absolutely unbelievable what we've seen today. Honestly, you've got a you and I, and I said this at half time. Arsenal fans enjoy every bit of that performance and that win. Honestly, text your mates, don't get carried away. You know, we haven't won the league of course, but enjoy it. We don't play for 6 days now. Let me tell you something for the next 6 days, I'm a problem. I'm a problem for the next six days. I won't get carried away. I'm not saying we're going to win the league. Um, but I'll be a problem. I will be a problem. I promise you that. 16 goals in the last four. Kivy or decent too. He definitely got better. Give him his credit. He improved. Kudas didn't really trouble us. So that's the biggest compliment 
I can pay him. Um, this is the tweet. Big up to somebody who said this earlier. I'm going to say this. One of the best performances in years. Mikel Arteta. I've always rated him. That's the tweet. Um, you, There'll be some in the comments who, you know, no sense of humour. Oh, you've always wanted him out. You don't deserve this. Go on, man. Go on. Um, <laughs> what a win. I'm still in shock. Uh, six. I wish it was seven. I really wish we'd have got seven nil. But I'll take six. Maybe I'm being greedy. Shameless Shaw TV. Things haven't been the same since Dubai, man. I'm telling you, the gold stake had magic in it. I don't know what it was. But listen, one thing we can say. Let's have a look at the Premier League table. We've definitely, over the last week, put ourselves in a much stronger position, the kind of position that we need to be in if we're going to go all the way. And and who knows where that ends up being in this title race. The gold stake, man, I'm telling you. Lee said, uh, big up big CC unit business, rude boy, bless. Big up yourself, Lee. Perf Aussie Gunner has become a new member. Big up to you, bro. Um, let's have a look at the, uh, at the Premier League table. Four and a half K still in. Liverpool top, 54 points, 24 played. Man City second. It's a shame. If we'd have scored one more goal, we would have been second in the league above City on goal difference. But the good thing is, at the start of this game today, we were six goals behind Manchester City and seven goals behind Liverpool. We're now level with Man City and one behind Liverpool. So not only was the three points massive, you know, the goal difference was huge as well. We needed that and we got that. So proud of the team, proud of the manager, love the fact Waneri came off the bench and got a run out. He looks cool and calm on the ball. He really does. He looks like a player. Not going to get carried away. He's 16 years of age, but the way he just controls the ball, dribbles, looks brilliant. You're spot on, um, South London's finest. The clean sheet was massive. The clean sheet was massive. Very easy to go 4-0 up at half time, come out second half, concede two, oh, switch off, you win 4-2, you go, well, the game was done. No, don't do that. Finish the game off. You were 4-0 up at half time. You continued, you built on it, you scored two more goals, you defended properly, and you won the game. And the second half goals were actually two of the best. Saka drifts inside, smashes it bottom corner. The Declan Rice goal is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wax it in the top corner. That was sensational. That performance was absolutely incredible. For anybody that didn't watch the game today, Usually I say at the end of an Arsenal game, don't watch the highlights, don't watch match of the day, just watch the goals and then move on from there. Tonight, watch match of the day, watch the highlights, even watch the game back again. That performance was absolutely outstanding. What Arsenal have got to do, big up MK who said he's a Liverpool fan, big respect to you, big up to your channel, I appreciate that bro. What Arsenal have to do is build and build and build and build. Honestly, that is what we have to do. We have to continue to build. There is a long way to go. 14 Premier League games to go. I was saying it the other day. We've lost four games. You can probably only get away with losing five to win the league. Maybe a draw and a defeat. We're probably going to have to win 12 or 13 out of the 14 games to have a chance of winning the title. That's how fine the margins are. It's a big ask. But we've proved over the last week we're not disappearing, beat Liverpool, destroyed West Ham, and there's a feel-good factor around, and we've got to build. Uh, Perth Aussie Gunner. My, da my daughter's birthday today, 22 years old, and Aguna herself. That is the present we wanted here in Perth, Australia. It's now 12.05 a.m. Big up to you. Shout out your daughter on her birthday. Big up everyone locked in, man. What a day. What a day. Um... What a day to be an Arsenal fan. I just want to finish off by looking at this. Obviously, the last couple of results have been brilliant. You look at the next four games, and I know it's only one game at a time, of course. We don't want to get carried away. Burnley at Burnley next Saturday. 3 p.m. kickoff. 
Um, I know Burnley put up a decent fight yesterday against um, against Liverpool, but I would still expect us to go and smash Burnley, which would be a great opportunity again, you would hope, for us to get our goal difference up. Um, just looking ahead, I'm just trying to see who, who else plays who. Liverpool go to Brentford on Saturday. Could we get something out of Ivan Tony? Man City play Chelsea at home. I mean, Chelsea not great, but maybe an opportunity. Clutching at straws here for teams to drop points. Man City have got a Champions League game midweek as well, so they'll be a bit more tired. Um, so Arsenal play Burnley next Saturday away. Then the midweek, it's Porto away. Newcastle at home, Sheffield United away. I think we need to win all of them games, uh, especially the free league games. You might get away with a draw away at Porto and then, you know, beat them in the home game. So, hey, big up cash, um, CMK. Uh, uh, Oi, birthday win. Let's go. Happy birthday, bro. Nick Taylor watching in Vietnam, Big C. I think it's better for momentum to win this one and lose at home as opposed to the other way around. I know what you mean. The home defeat to West Ham was a freak result because we battered them and couldn't finish. So it wasn't like West Ham came and dealt with us and beat us. It was just a bad day at the office. The Fulham game was more made me more angry because Fulham are not even that good. And we made them. But I get listen, big up famous you. Thank you for the super sticker, bro. Really appreciate that. What I what I do want to say is huge credit to the team. Huge credit to them. For standing up, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we was in a dark place after that Fulham game. We've managed to beat, um, we've managed to beat Palace comfortably, beat Forest, beat Liverpool, beat West Ham. We've showed that we can fight with our back against the wall and really prove ourselves. You hope that the dynamics that's different from last season, the season disappeared away from us last year. Because we lost William Saliba and our defence capitulated. I think if we've got that foundation and we can keep them fit, Saliba, Gabriel, David Rare in goal, Rice just in front, hopefully now Trossard, Martinelli, Sacco, Odegaard starting to get into better form quietly as well, which we needed. You hope, I know I'm clutching at straws, you hope... Thomas Partey gets fit in the next week or two and you add him to the squad. You know, uh, Smith Rowe tweaked his ankle, shouldn't be out for long. Jesus hopefully comes back this week. If you can get Tommy Asu, Jesus, Partey, Smith Rowe, get them back. Even if they're on the bench, we've then got a proper bench. You know, and then Timber maybe in six to eight weeks, you get him back as well. So listen, we know it's difficult. Man City are the favourites. Liverpool have got the experience as well. But we have to just stay in the race. The problem with last season, we fell out of the race. The last three or four weeks of the season, we weren't even involved in the title race. It was over. Zinchenko as well is injured. So if we can get those players that are not available, seven players unavailable today, you know, Partey, Timber, Zinchenko, um, Jesus, Fabio Vieira, Smith Rowe, you know, a number of players, part A as well, I said, I think, that can help us. So, listen, today was a good day. Incredible. Soak it up. Enjoy it. Enjoyed every moment of it. Just want to say a massive thank you to everybody locked in. We ended with 117 new members on the channel today, which is unbelievable. Welcome to all of you. Make sure you like the video on the way out. 3,000 of you. Um, I've liked the video already. Big up Cornbread, who's a new member as well. Listen, people, I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. West Ham got battered. We're going to watch Man United, West Ham, AFCON, Super Bowl, NBA, whatever you're doing the rest of the evening. Enjoy it. I'll be back at 2 p.m. tomorrow um, where we'll enjoy a roundup show. And I should be doing the show with Turkish on his channel tomorrow as well. Take care, enjoy it, celebrate. Don't worry what the celebration police say. West Ham got hammered. Declan Rice, my friend, you are unreal. Get in there, 6-0, bless. <laughs>